Um, and also, we got some psychopath outside the studio that scared the shit out of all of us. Oh, that fucking wacko in the fucking tie that comes up to his belly button? Oh, I thought you meant Bill Burr. Where's Bill? <laughs> Where is oh. Bill? <clears throat> Wait, I, I heard Bill Burr was here. Yeah. But I didn't see him. He's, He's right like there. Over there. We got to get him in. All right, Bill Burr we'll will start be another big argument. Next. Someone calls someone a fuckface if you leave a comic out there too long. Yeah. And, and that guy is a schizo. Yeah, uh, Schizo Bill the comic from Cleveland. I, I, I had to pass him by in the hallway, and he's standing there, and I thought I was being served a subpoena. <laughs> Bill Burr in studio today. Da, 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 da. What's and going a, on? And a schizo comic from Cleveland outside the studio. His name's Bill, and he's just staring at us with his tie. He's waiting for a confession. <laughs> He's the real deal. He's the bad cop. I don't know where Master Poe was today because I walked up uh, the elevator, whatever, brought me upstairs, and there was that guy. I'm like, holy shit, what what's this about? Theory? I don't know, maybe an intern or something at that point. Apparently, uh, <laughs> it says yesterday, all day, CNBC was using B-roll to you guys every time they talked about Oprah signing. Oh, cool. Hey, there you go. See, sometimes it's nice to do stupid things that doesn't get aired. Because uh, then they uh, have B-roll. All right. Yeah, the Oprah thing's huge for example. <laughs> well, if you get arrested someday for drinking and driving. Yeah, that's good. They could just <laughs> tote that out and roll it. We don't have to work as hard because now we have Oprah. Oprah. Our new boss. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Hi, Bill. Hello, Opie. Bill Burr. How are Back you? Back on the show. Yeah. After my nice discussion on Monday. <laughs> well, that was great radio. That oh, was yeah, good. That's what, that's what I figured by the end. I have one of those every eight months with Patrice. It's like uh, I've known her for 15 years, so it's like it's like going home for the holidays. Yeah, People are all little... sending emails. Oh, was that the end of your friend? No, it wasn't. The... <laughs> that's it, huh? No, that was Monday. That was uh, yeah. <laughs> it was just called Monday. Yeah, it was called Monday. People should understand that. Jimmy and I went at in the whole weekend. That's the end of the show. Comics are Everyone's weird. Everyone's breaking up you now. You guys are just weird guys, man. It just you, you just have to have it out every once in a while. <laughs> As opposed to you, like you're this normal guy building I up didn't an say arsenal. Radio for people <laughs> aren't more weird. What, or... what pamphlets are you reading that you feel like you don't have enough weaponry? Pamphlets. You're so old school. It's the internet now. Oh, is that what? I'm sorry. Don't need pamphlets anymore? We hey, can spread the word. It's uh, not like I understand the weather. I'm not a well-read guy. I'm not like you. You're giving weather reports into a mirror in an SS uniform. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Anthony really has like those I'm a genius clothes. <laughs> that Albert Einstein wardrobe where he just doesn't give a fuck. He doesn't really notice. <laughs> Jimmy, what are you talking? Jimmy, about? can you? Can you take what you just said and do what, my favorite line? I know it's a setup, but it makes me laugh so hard all the time. I, I don't remember. I, I'll have to hear it again, then I can oh. do it for you. I honestly got to have not. It's one of my favorite lines ever. When the, the oh. Where his girlfriend catches him in his fucking <laughs> uniform on the computer, dressed as standing there in my SS uniform in oh, the you, middle I, of the I empty living room. Like, yeah, just in the hallway at night with, like, some moonlight on him. <laughs> and she goes, what's wrong? And you just go... Please help me. <laughs> that's my, that's my but you're looking beyond her, and you're wearing a full Nazi regalia. That's my favorite thing you've ever done. People have this misconception <laughs> that I have accepted some Nazi ideology. I am a fan of memorabilia and uh, uh, World War II collectibles. Which means I, I, I <laughs> he sounds like Pete Townsend. I, I was just doing research. I was doing research. <laughs> I have, I think what they did was atrocious. It was tr truly an atrocity on man and, and the, the planet. Losing? <laughs> no, not losing, <laughs> man. <you. laughs> they should have worked harder. Uh, but I appreciate the uh, uh, memorabilia. Not memorabilia. That's like you're, you're you know, glorifying it. or anything. I like uh, the collectibles that came out of it. By the way, Anthony, I think you... And I don't own one Nazi flag. I don't own one... Sw there isn't one swastika By the way, in my Anthony, house. I think you uh, you overpaid. I got to tell you. <laughs> oh, you saw what I paid at the uh, auction? Newsday.com. Gun Hitler may have owned fetches $140,000. May have. May have. Oh. Did you, would you put it up on eBay like that? Yeah. Hey, may have owned this. Yeah, here's some slippers. Or maybe he, not. He might have slipped his feet into. $140,000. For a uh, a rifle with the engraving A H on it. it, could be anything. Could be. All right. 
So they had taken it as a souvenir uh, when it was seized. Yeah, nah. That'll make see. I, that's a collectible. I'm sure the guy that bought that isn't some fanatic looking to spread Nazism. Hey, not at all. At what point? At what point did you stop bidding? About eighty grand. Uh, eight, by eighty, I was like, ah, they're not even sure it's his. I'll take yeah. my bid down. I'm gonna go for the Goebbels rookie card. <laughs> <laughs> Adolf Hitler's gun, people. <laughs> Adolf Hitler's gun. We don't know how many Jews this might have killed, people. <laughs> B dialing, put it on the flex pay. Anthony in New York, what's up? Hey, guys, great show. I've been listening to Zenny W. Thank you. I just had a couple of funny thoughts while waiting online. Can you imagine if Oprah asked you guys on the show? She'd be like your mom interviewing you. It's like, why are you looking at those naked women? Hold on, let me just digest that funny thought. All right, can we all just let it sink in for a moment? Hit, you know what's no, funny? no, let it sure. sink. Yep. Let oh, it sorry. sink. We had a couple of funny thoughts. We're enjoying this one. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Time for the next one. All right, next we're funny ready. thought coming Let's up. Let's hear it. Quick question. Since I'm a new listener, would it be possible for you guys no! on XM to interview Jackie Martin? You think he'd come on your show? Wait a minute. You did say you were listening since NEW, and then you just said that you're well, a new listener. I mean, since on XM, meaning. I, just, listen, I mean, off and on. I mean, I was working at wait, the time. So did I you just get XM or something? I got it on direct TV. Well, how long uh, ago? Only a couple of months ago then, right? Yeah, I would say you guys came on what, like um, November? We've been in uh, contact with uh, good old Jackie. Yeah. Good old Jackie, but I, I think he wants a little more than like one uh, one day. Maybe would you guys have him on a week? That would be cool. No, I think he wants to kind of be part of uh, XM. That would be great, I think. But uh, I mean, can you imagine him ripping a Howard an asshole? I mean, I would love to hear him off of that Howard Stern show. Yeah, that yeah. would be I mean, be you know, that, you guys, yeah. I tell you, you guys would be, you guys, I'm not just saying to the kiss you. Oh, I wanted to hear the rest of his funny thoughts. Yeah, they were I was all really very into funny. That. That was two funny thoughts. We have more important things to get to. More bigger business. That we think is important. Grizzly Man Audio, Bill. Uh, oh, you still haven't seen Grizzly Man, right? No, I haven't it's seen uh, see this thing. Grizzly um, Man or the the Lost in the Water movie. <laughs> uh, open Water? Yeah, Open Water. A movie uh, of acceptance. Yeah. Is, is that what, what it is? what Grizzly Man is. Yeah, it's acceptance, all right. Accepting who you are. Accepting his innards into bare stomach. <laughs> Accepting how delicious you really taste. <laughs> <laughs> he just admitted that he was gay, and he could the just say couldn't. it to his father, and his father could accept it. He couldn't. Yeah, yeah. I he mean, Bill, he Bill's got this whole movie figured out. Mm -hmm. Well, no. Well, th actually, in all fairness, Rogan came in here talking about the movie first, saying that the guy was gay. But you walk when you watch it, he's literally walking around going... You know, but I, I love women. I, you know, I yeah. just, sometimes yeah. I wish I was gay and it would just be easier, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, but I love women. You but know I'm how, not. You know how twisted that is, too? Because he never knew that anyone was ever going to see these tapes. And he's trying to convince himself while he's in the middle of nowhere with bears that he's not gay. Oh, Rogan, yeah. Rogan was talking about how he could have put the bear in a submission hold. Have him tap out with his claws. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're talking about bears. Should we have Steven here, by the way, or no? Steve? We should have Steve just sit in. Bring her in. What the hell is this stuff? Is he muzzled? What's this, Ben? Grr. Huh? The mad Mexican sent you guys. Oh, awesome. What oh, Valentine's Day. Oh, no. Oh, oh, say Wait. goodbye to these. Hey, it's Voss. What is it? Which one's mine? The red one? Yeah. Good. That's the cute one. How much DNA is on that? I there? woof you. Oh, Why is there mm. scotch tape on its oh, head? No. Why is it? Oh, what no. is this? What is he crazy? Oh, shit, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> that, that didn't take long. <laughs> oh, my. Opie, it's cute. <laughs> oh, the stuff. That didn't take long. <laughs> <laughs> Should be a mouse trap in there. That would be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to see if he sent uh, a real present, Coke. <laughs> in the stuff down Happy Valentine's Day, Anthony, oh. from the Mad Mexican. I like it. He put, uh, <laughs> this is great. <laughs> What's wrong with the Mad Mexican that he's, he's sending us sugar loaf? Oh, if you says, I woof you on uh, it. But, but mine doesn't say that. Aha, uh -huh, you can't break it. <laughs> he's, he's durable. <laughs> what is oh, wrong with us that we get up. one Valentine's Day gift from a Mexican? An uncut man with a little dog. <sighs> right, I need the scissor. 
I just want to rip its plastic face off. I love its plastic <laughs> face. I want to cut Anthony. its face off. Here's some more B-roll for the news outlet someday. Yeah. <laughs> you cutting the face off. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my, oh my God. That's Ooh. very violent. That's its vertebrae. <laughs> Oh. There you go. There's your headless doll. <laughs> I like my doll. We got trophies. Ah! <laughs> Anthony holding up the head. Ah! <laughs> They're called costume kids, and you can collect all eight. Yeah? Yeah. Let me see I, that. No. No, you I can't. Just want to look at it. I like it. All right, listen, come on. I'm not going to do anything to it. Ooh. We got Grizzly Man Audio. Bill Burr, give us the setup, because we have new listeners. <laughs> We have new <laughs> listeners checking us out as he throws his uh, stuffed animal into He'll the garbage. Throw out my stuffed animal. Uh, oh, uh, Grizzly Man. It's about a uh, guy of questionable uh, sexual preference. Right. Living up in Alaska um, with bears with absolutely no training, uh, wildlife training. He, right. just, he just goes by gut instinct. He did it for many years, and he finally got eaten alive Him by and, bears. Yeah, and then his girlfriend, his beard, mm -hmm. came over with a frying pan, <laughs> tried to hit the Kodiak over the head. Yep. Kodiak wasn't having it. No. Nope. And instead of getting the... Uh, the cheeseburger, he went for the quarter pounder. He ate uh, <laughs> Grizzly Man and his girlfriend. He supersized it, right, yeah. Right. Supersized it. And he was a guy that wanted to be famous in Hollywood. He was up for the part in Cheers that Woody yeah. Harrelson ended up getting, supposedly. Dude, every failed actor, if you if you, they fail, they somehow came this close. This close to so oh, yeah. close. I was supposed to be Kramer. <laughs> I was this close. It was yeah. me. Kramer was right in the fucking <laughs> right, room. Yeah. Really? The last minute he came in, I had the part. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, and Bill Burr does a great Grizzly Man impression. But uh, here's the real Grizzly Man talking about uh, bears. I kind of think he was over 10 feet high, don't you? Oh, he's a big bear. He's a big bear. A very big bear. Wow. Grr. <laughs> anyway, he's over here rub-a-dub-dubbing. <sighs> he's a big bear. That, Holy it does, crap. And I'm going to tell you, that doesn't even do it. You have no. to rent this movie because this fucking bear is 10 feet tall rubbing its back against this, this tree that if you drove into it in your fucking Hummer, you would go through the windshield and die. And this tree is like bending over, like, get this fucking thing off of me. And this gag dude is like two feet away going, he's a big bear. Yes, he is. He's a big bear. And these fucking bears are just, they're like weirded out by the guy. It's like yeah. they're kind of full of salmon, so they don't attack them. But they just kind of every once in a while they kind of they kind of snap at them. Yeah, and he like, treats them the like a dog. Like, like, yeah, like they, they get creeped out by him. You could tell. Wow. On some level, you could tell the bears are creeped out. It's by like this dog. guy should not be here. Does he know we can just kill him instantly? Yeah. And what what is that? Right. Yeah. What is it? Tony in Cleveland. Tony. Wow. Hey, how's it going, guys? Hey. Hey. Uh, on uh, my MySpace, and uh, a couple months ago, I sent some pictures to Steve. There were pictures of the Grizzly guys attack on Ogrish for about two weeks after it was announced, and then they had to pull them. Oh, so they are out there somewhere? I don't even want to see the movie because they yanked that audio of him being killed. It's like, that's the fucking highlight of the movie. Yeah, they had the audio and they refused to play it during Why? a documentary. You know it's funny? a documentary. They should have played that. I, did, I didn't want to see it. But cause... they were going for a mass audience. Yeah, I've got it on my MySpace. If you look, it's, it's got a picture of a cop standing next to just his leg with like all the meat gone and just bone laying there. Is that really the uh, the pictures from this? Yeah, they were on there for about a week or two, and then for some reason they jerked them off because the uh, the whole family, I guess, is having a fit over. All right, we're gonna put you on them. hold uh, so we can go to your MySpace. If it's really good, we'll uh, announce it to the world. Okay. All right, thanks, Tony. Hold on a second. Get his uh, MySpace thing. It's no, MySpace slash Jim Norton. <laughs> I didn't want to see the movie because I didn't want to hear that audio, but after three minutes of watching this idiot, I, I wanted to see him get killed by a bear. That would have been a great finale. <laughs> but they don't play it. They, they, so they, they don't they cut it out. Of course it's they even worse, yeah, because the director listens to it and then just goes, you need to burn this. Like it was a big moment about yeah. himself. Yeah, you're going to decide for everybody yeah. else. Thank you. Don't exploit this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I have. Yeah, as we exploit the guy. <laughs> exactly. What a fucking asshole. <laughs> oh, that pissed me off. He was just afraid it would be too graphic to probably get mass distribution or something Fuck. like that. He fucks an eight-year-old. No one else should do this. No one should. We should burn this child yes, now. People yeah. should not have sex with children. <laughs> I saw that movie early on, and halfway through it, I realized, oh, my God, they're not. They're teasing it, but they're never going to play this audio. No. And I was I was getting so pissed off in the yeah, that's why I don't want to see it. For what? Because it's in the documentary category. You know what I mean? We have the director on the phone. 
I guess we can. Yeah, yeah, why not? Happen. It's not a bad idea. Well, but talking. they did kind of sell it like you were going to hear the audio. Yeah. yeah, exactly. You know, he's killed. You're like, all right, this will be kind of interesting to watch. I remembered right. that. I remembered that. <laughs> all right, here we go. Um, uh, Grizzly Man talks about the Grinch, the name of one of his bears, I guess. I want to introduce you to one of the key role players in this year's expedition. The bear's name is the Grinch. The Grinch has come on to be one of the more frequent bears here in the Grizzly Maze. Um, the Grinch is a female of about five years of age. Oh, oh hi, Grinch. Hi. And she has kind of an aggressive attitude. Hi. If I turn around too much, she'll bite me. It's okay. Hi. How are you? How are you? Don't you do that. Don't you do that. Back off. Don't do it. It's okay. I love you. 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. Okay, what happened there was the thing, he, like, he fucking walks up to this thing in the... Ri I mean, I'm literally looking at it like, I, they're going to show it. He's going to get killed here. Right here. I, you can't believe, actually, what you can do to a bear, what it takes for these <laughs> fucking things to attack you. <laughs> The bear is looking at him like, dude, get the fuck away from me. He's, I, he's coming. Hey, there's a big bear. And he finally just went, Hup! like this 10,000 per square inch lunge at this guy. And then he starts scolding him like he's a fucking, like a chihuahua. Yeah. No, no. No. You don't, I love you. You don't do that. And then the thing's walking away and he's going, I love you. I love you. And the bear's just like. You know, it, maybe the bears were afraid to bite him because what they might catch. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere there's a bear in a robe right now. <laughs> Little honey tea next to him. An 80 pound bear. <laughs> going, I just wanted a snack. Hairless. <laughs> Hairless. <laughs> Hibernating in July. <laughs> <laughs> He's all curled up in the fetal position, coughing and frightened. <laughs> His friends have to bring him honeycomb. <laughs> all he wants is the fucking Will and Grace box set. <laughs> uh, other bears protesting to get him out of the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> One understanding deer. <laughs> there is no... Thi see, I didn't hear any of this or see the movie or anything. It's a comedy. And all, you got all, it, yeah. all I've seen close to this are real uh, nature documentaries where there seems to be a professional person who knows something about the animals uh, teaching you about them. Even that uh -huh. stupid Australian guy. Uh, even he, like, kind of knows something about the animals right. and how they should and shouldn't be treated. Uh, this guy, from what I've heard so far, has no business being no. among goldfish, never mind bears. He has no clue. It doesn't seem like he's doing anything that is benefiting our education of the bear, uh, uh, you know, uh, what, we, uh, what we learn about bears. This no, guy he, just decided he's going out with bears until one of them eat him. He and he, he just makes up shit about nature. He, at one point, <laughs> he's laying next to half a fox. Somebody, some wolves or something, ripped this fox apart. That used to be that, one of his pets. That he named. Yeah. yeah, what was his name? It was I don't know what the hell is. Foxy. Name. Yeah, this is Foxy, and he's laying there. I just don't understand why this has to happen. Like it's like there's too many guns in the neighborhood. <laughs> That's the way he's treating this shit. Another senseless killing. Yeah, right. I don't understand. And then the idiot who's making the documentary hits like pause and he goes, this is where I have to disagree. I believe wilderness is chaos. It's like, dude, you're rationalizing with a crazy person. Uh, right. That dude just went like, and you were like, no, I actually think it's like, any idiot knows what goes on out there. Bigger animals eat the littler ones. Yes. That's how it works. He did this year after year after year. He got crazier and crazier. And I'm convinced that he decided, all right, I'm going to just commit suicide by allowing one of these bears to eat, bear. to eat me. Suicide and, by bear. And then there'll is be that, video and I'll that be legendary. voice in his head got louder and louder. Whatever. Suck yeah. a cock. Suck <laughs> a cock. I like pussy. That's a big bear. Kill me. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, uh, I, I, we got reports the audio was a little low. We got a, a brand new copy, so you might want to turn oh, down your XM um, so you don't get The director blown out. really should be shot. You're right. That was probably a personal moment for him that everybody else had to fucking suffer because I of. I know. I hated oh, that. Oh, what a douchebag. Uh, Beck in Florida. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, if you can recall during the movie, the guy had a fetish with the bear shit. Every time he turned around, he was, like, caressing and holding it. 
It's just uh, one of these movies that's not supposed to be a comedy that is. Yeah. It's in my comedy <laughs> section uh, at my house. <laughs> it's hilarious. It really is funny on so many levels. Caddyshack, <laughs> Animal House, Grizzly Man. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Fucking, he's got a sandwich between Caddyshack and Schindler's List. <laughs> I forgot about that. He does start. He gets more and more into playing with the bear shit. That's just great. It's, that's <laughs> fantastic. He touches it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hey, is there something hey, in there for you, Jim? He's got a helpful rascal <laughs> with his. Uh, what, what, what kind of haircut does he have? Like the prince. Uh, what is it? What is it called? Prince Valiant. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's got that hairdo going. It's just. It's funny. Oh, the, you know the best part. Do you have? Do you have the audio of the, the guy from L.A., his ex uh, actor friend out there? Who turns his death into like a monologue? He's like trying to like book an audition. You could tell oh, he fucking no. rehearsed it. Right. This this thing is like there's so many different layers. This thing's hilarious. And if I described it better, that would have been funny too. <laughs> well, can we, maybe we can get the actor friend on the phone. We should interview. Um, people. yeah, that'll happen. Why not? They're not that big famous. No one cares about them. I don't know. Hey, someone's saying the director's in Munich, Germany, or something like that. Or is it? Oh, really? Well, we have audio. They didn't highlight it as one of the best cuts, but it is, though. The director listens to the audio of the attack, then tells Jewel, ex-girlfriend, uh, to get rid of the tape. So we do have that. We'll get to that in a second, but first, here's another clip. This is a helicopter pilot that used to fly him in and out. Would drop him off and go, oh, Jesus, this guy's nuts. And then he'd pick him up like two, three months later. Mm -hmm. That long he'd be there? Yeah, he was there for like the whole summer, I think, right? Yeah, he he would leave right before they started to hibernate. But the Not the year he got eaten, he decided to stay longer, knowing that uh, more dangerous bears were taking the place of the the bears that hungry. were there that were going to hibernate. I guess there's a whole cycle. Like some bears go hibernate earlier, and then these really nasty ones that could survive in worse conditions still hang around for another month or so and it's eat a, everything. It's like being in Midtown, I guess, and then deciding one night you're going to go uptown. <laughs> How much there, longer? Do, oh. It's kind of the same. It I, seems the same. You would think it would be the same, but somehow something's different. It's like walking around this area at night. It gets a little oh. different than walking yeah, around bit, here. A little bit, a little bit. Day. Here we go. Here's the helicopter pilot. I think the only reason that Treadwell lasted as long in the game as he did the was game. that the Bears probably thought there was something wrong with him, like he was... Manly retarded or something. <laughs> retarded. Um, that bear, I think that day, decided that he had either had enough of Tim Treadwell or that something clicked in that bear's head that he thought, hey, you know, he might be good to eat. I think that's closer to it. My opinion, I think... Treadwell thought these bears were big, scary-looking, harmless creatures that he could go up and pet and sing to, and they would uh, bond as children of the universe or some odd. I think he had lost sight of what was really going on. Yeah, that's the same. This guy's fucking rationalizing it like the bear had a, like, maybe it was a political argument. Maybe that's why he killed him, you <laughs> fucking idiot. I'm Tim Treadwell. <laughs> Get to the chopper. <laughs> I... He had a falling out with the bears. The bears yeah. thought he was retarded. The bears thought he was retarded and said, hey, I've had enough of this guy. Or he thought, that's a tasty treat. The bear. I'll go with the tasty treat. I think the bear just looked. He was hungry, and bears will eat anything. They're stupid bears. They have v video of the bear that ate him. They're convinced that, that he actually taped him. Yeah. And you could just see it. They they make this point in the movie. You could just see it in the bear's eyes that there was just a, I just need to eat look. Hungry bear. He was an older bear. And the, the, all the younger ones ate all the salmon, and this douchebag was standing there. He's a big Old bear. bear. Can't hunt anymore, they probably. They had an expert yeah. looking at the footage, and uh, this Tim guy is uh, watching this uh, bear uh, dive really deep. And uh, Tim thinks it's great that the bear could dive that deep and it's so cute and stuff. Oh. And the expert's like, that's not cute. That's proven that this bear is beyond hungry and is going really deep down to try to get food. You ever see the oh, cute yeah. picture of the bear sitting down by the waterfall and he just puts his hand in and yeah. a salmon's on his claw oh, and he oh, yeah. eats it. Puts another one. If bears got to work for anything, right? yeah, they must That's be That's what hungry. the expert has explained. It's like, you know, he has to work real hard to survive at this point. It's not like, you know, uh, the height of the salmon season where you just scoop up as many as you yeah. can. Yeah, and what's funny, when you look at the footage of the bear, it literally looks like the bear's playing. It's a scene right out of Bambi because he's diving deep and then coming back on his back. And if you knew nothing about 
these animals like I don't. I was like laughing. Go ahead, look at him. He's, How cute. He's swimming. Swimming. He's just taking a break. He's starving. He's doing the, yeah, he's diving down deep because there's no fucking fish left. And he keeps coming up, and he's occasionally <laughs> glancing over at this idiot. Uh, I, oh. I could eat the, that, I think. Yeah, I just think going. I could eat another that. step closer. It's yeah. like finding a chick in the neighborhood who sucks your dick immediately. The bear is probably like, "I heard about this asshole. I can't believe he's really here. <laughs> this guy's for real. I thought this was a goof, <laughs> an urban legend." <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear about the guy that just hangs around? <laughs> he doesn't run away when you walk up to him. No, he just no, talks. He just talks to you. It's a <laughs> setup, man. I don't like it. <laughs> who did this, Danny? <laughs> <or you? laughs> The, des the description on the next track is hilarious. Hello, Bear. Why don't you take a seat right over there? What were you thinking when you came over to this guy's camp? <laughs> I, I don't know. Track seven. Sorry. Listen to this. Spirit, the fox's cub ghost, takes Tim's hat and runs off. What results can only be described as fag mad and could be the most hilarious audio ever recorded. Fag mad? The hat ends up in a den. But Danny's saying this could be the most hilarious audio ever, ever recorded, Anthony. All right. Ever. Hey, who's stealing that hat? Let me see that hat. Ghost, I want that hat. Man, Ghost is bad. Ghost, what are you doing with that hat? Ghost, that hat is a very important hat. Drop it. Hey. Oh, Oh, God damn it. I can't believe this. Ghost! Ghost, where's that fucking hat? That hat is so friggin' valuable for this trip. Ghost, you come back here with that friggin' hat. If it's in the den, I'm gonna fucking explode. Ghost, where's that hat? It's not okay for you to steal it. Oh, man. Oh, man. Freaking Dan. <laughs> See, he sounds like he's chasing a toddler through his house. He's in the fucking wilderness. <laughs> right. Ghost! <laughs> it's my hat. I want to say that, I mean, I mean this, I hate Tim Treadwell, and I'm glad he's dead. <laughs> I'm glad he's fucking dead. By the way, his girlfriend's name is Ghost, too. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. That's kind of funny. Ring, ring. Phone. Grr. Grr. <laughs> grr. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, wait, the phone. <laughs> here's the um, here's the next track. Tim petting and talking to Timmy the fox. Timmy. And then he asked the public to stop killing and hurting foxes. <laughs> Do you know anyone that kills and hurts foxes? <laughs> um, I know nobody that does that. Bill, no. you? No, you know what? I've never oh. heard of it. Uh, I've never, you know. <laughs> Tally ho. <laughs> We get up on horseback and send the hounds out, chase that fox. Go on a fox trot. Fox hunt. How often Why do you? Not? How often do you call your friends? I'll uh, leave a message. We're out hurting a fox. <laughs> right. uh, call you back. It's a different perspective, I do believe. Yeah. How many foxes could be hurt out there? Only Timmy is the boss of all foxes and all bears. You're the ruler. Got a face and look at the ear. Yay, thanks for being my friend. This is so good. Does it feel good? We patrol the grizzly sanctuary together. How did we meet? Over a decade ago. He left his mother and father's side, promptly peed on my shoes, pooped on my clothes. That was it. He was my friend, Timmy the Fox. Yep. And we watch over things, and he's the boss. He takes care of everything. Yep. Yep. Because I love my head pet. I think one of the things that's really important is you can see the bond that be, has developed between this very wild animal and this very, fairly wild person. And you realize he has this gorgeous fur and people are trying to kill him for it with steel jaw traps and cruel farming practices and other people run him down on horses for sport, fox hunting. We want this to end between Timmy the fox, this beautiful fox and me. We ask the public, please stop killing and hurting these foxes and torturing them. Don't you think? If they knew how beautiful he was and how sweet he was, they would never hurt him. Thanks, King. Holy shit. <laughs> Too bad two bears didn't do an infomercial. Please stop eating psychotic faggots. Please just let them wander around your neighborhood without being harmed and eaten. <laughs> 
<laughs> I like how they're playing that acoustic guitar music. Like they're so trying to get you to give a fuck about this guy. Yeah. Like, he had yeah. a good heart. Yeah, he the rest meant of us, well. Yeah, we're all too jaded. I like meant well. I like this next track because he loses his mind because he's uh, talking to the camera and it's not coming out right. So he does the lines over and over again and he gets madder and madder. Listen to this. Timothy used his camera as a tool to get his message across. Sometimes his approach was very playful. Do another take here. I fucked up the last one. I almost just fell off the cliff. I'm a fucking asshole. Behind me is the Grizzly Sanctuary, and also behind me, hidden down below in those trees somewhere, is my camp. I must stay incognito. I must hide from the authorities. I must hide from people who would harm me. I must now even hide from people that seek me out because I've made some sort of, um, I don't want to say celebrity, but um, yes, they come do. here to Alaska, and they hear about Treadwell in the bush, and they want to go find him. But they can't. I'm hidden down below. No one knows where I am. Even I don't even know where I am. That was pretty shitty. Let's do a really short take here. <laughs> but as a filmmaker, he was methodical. Whatever. Often repeating takes 15 times. One more really short, excellent take. Let's just really sum it up. Here we go. Where this is going to be the motherfucker. <laughs> Behind me is the Grizzly Sanctuary, and also hidden down below is my camp. For I must now remain hidden from the authorities, from people for who would harm me, now. from people who'd seek me out as a story. My Mr. future hope in the end depends on it. I must be a spirit in the wilderness. He, fucking, he's methodical as a, as a director. He's kind of like Kubrick, but without limbs. <laughs> oh, shithead. Rachel, my camp is down there. Someday it will all be yours. The Palapanese, my mutilated body. <laughs> what is a string of intestines? <laughs> Rachel, you've hit him over the head with a frying pan. <laughs> 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 if there, I have no idea if there's a God, but if there's a God, God would be very, very pleased with me. If you could just watch me here, how much I love them, how much I adore them, how respectful I am to them, how I am one of them, and how the th studies they give me, the photographs, the video, and take that around for no charge to people around the world. It's good work. I feel good about it. I feel good about myself doing it. And I want to continue... And I hope I can. I really hope I can. But if not, be warned. I will die for these animals. I will die for these animals. I will die for these animals. Thank you so much for letting me do this. Thank you so much for, for, for these animals, for, for giving me a life. I had no life. Now I have a life. Yeah. Thank you so much for getting killed. <laughs> that faggot eating bear does not get that picture. <laughs> Foraging lessons, salinating lessons. <laughs> I was going to make him a producer for Foundry Music. Good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Danny didn't highlight this Poor guy. this track, but I think we should play because it, it says uh, this is the cut where Tim wonders why girls don't want to be with him. Ah, let's see what he has to say about this. Because you're gay and you smell like bear shit. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my story here, for me, Timothy Treadwell, oh, the kind warrior. again. The kind warrior. Can I take it? I'm trying. Okay, yeah, I can do it. Yeah, why not? Why not? Across the halfway point. Government's given me all they have so far. I've stood up to it. I've had danger in the boat, almost died, I've almost fallen off the cliff. Yeah. The danger factor's about to amp up in the maze. The maze is always the most dangerous. Lord, I do not want to be hurt by a bear. I do not. I always can cannot understand why girls don't. I want to be with me for a long time because I have really a nice personality. I'm fun. I'm very, very good in the, uh, well, I, you're not supposed to say that when you're a guy. But I know I am. They know I am. And um, I don't fight with them. I'm, I'm so passive. A bit of a patsy. Which, is that a turnoff to girls, to be a patsy? I mean, it's not... It's not that I'm a total great guy. That means faggot. I'm a lot of fun and a good life going. I don't know what's going on. I always wished I was gay. It would have been a lot easier. 
you know, you can just ping, ping, ping. Okay, guys, no problem. I mean, they go to restrooms and truck stops and they perform sex. It's like so easy for them and, and stuff. But you know what? Alas, Timothy Trundle is not gay. Bummer. Uh, I love girls. And girls? Girls need a lot more. Need a lot more. I gotta back up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. That guy uh, is on. trying a little too hard. Hold on, let's back up here a little bit. No problem. I mean, they go to restrooms and truck stops and they perform sex. It's like so easy for them and, and stuff. But you know what? Alas, Timothy Trundle is not gay. Bummer. <laughs> I love girls. You lie. Girls? You're a fucking liar. I need a lot more. I need a lot more. You know, finesse and, and care and and I like that a bit. But when it goes bent down, bad, and you're alone, it's like, well, you know, you can't rebound like you can if you were gay. I'm I sure gay people have problems too, but Do you want to as much as one goofy straight guy named Timothy Dreadwell. Anyway, that's my story. That's my story. He's like, oh, what a shame I'm not gay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. I'd like to be, but, ah, but I like girls. Let's go to Eric in New York. Do? Eric? Rachel, I've become bear who doovers. <laughs> who doovers. <laughs> or derbs. <laughs> Nasty boss. Here right, got Mr. Good. Marshall. Good one, Eric. Well, here's Tim talking to a fox. We're almost done here. The Grizzly Man audio. Look at you. You're the best little fox. But how did I how did I come into this work, Iris? Did you ever did you ever get the story? I was I was troubled. I was troubled. I drank a lot. Did you know that? Iris, you wouldn't even know what that is, but um I I, I used to drink to the point of um that I guess I was either gonna die from it or or break free of it, but nothing, nothing Iris could get me from, from to stop drinking, nothing. I went to programs, I tried quitting myself, I did everything that I could to try not to drink, and then I did everything I could to drink. From the mule, and, um, he means. And it was killing me, until I discovered this land of bears, and realized that they were in such, such great danger that they, they needed a caretaker. They needed someone to look after them, but not a drunk person, yeah. not a person messed up. So I promised the bears that if I would look over them, would they please help me um, be a better person? And um, <laughs> they become so inspirational thought, thought he said and, a um, and person. living with the boxes too, <laughs> that I did. I gave up the drinking. I, it was a miracle. It's an absolute miracle. And the miracle was animals. The miracle was animals. Sex with them. Guaranteed this guy fucked something. An animal. I, One I, of the foxes, a bear, something. I got to say, this is what's impressive. We saw the pictures. Yeah. One of them, he's sitting behind a bear. This bear is fucking massive. I don't think that's, not the guy that's that. him. And, and this one has been uh, disputed. They're, they're fake photos. This is a fake photo. The okay. other one isn't a fake photo. It's a real dead guy. This but, this isn't. That, but it isn't the guy. That's this, not the guy. This yeah. is, I don't know if this is him. But there's a picture of a guy's leg being sh that, that has been shredded off, and his fucking hog is hanging out by his intestines, and he's got to be packing seven soft. And I'm like, in a panic mode, your cock shrivels. So for this guy to fucking have a dick this big after being attacked by an animal, hats off. And the animals even know not to eat the taints. Look at that. Yeah. It's completely intact. So this is not him? No, that's some other animal attack. Why but. would the bear leave the best part? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the bear just sucked it and walked away. I like I how his whole thing was bullshit. I like now. how his thigh <laughs> is completely gone, but his shin is there and his sneaker is still nicely tied on. And his, his leg foot. is is like kind of almost like in relaxed mode, like he's yeah, sunbathing, like he's kicking his leg up a little bit. But the audio, uh, the audio, really the uh, pictures sick. are fake. They're definitely fake. Those aren't the ones. No, that's not the guy. So, you guys want to hear from the medical examiner? we got two oh. clips left. Oh. Yes. Oh, this guy. Oh, everybody. This guy was a creep in the movie. Quincy. Yeah, you ever like, see a movie where it's just everybody's good, and then yeah. they all go on to be like stars of movies? There's an occasional... This fucking documentary is like that. There's not There's not a B-list person in this. <laughs> Did you ever see the movie... Uh, we got to get the audio of... Um, they made it kind of a... Loosely based documentary. It's, it's. I guess it's a documentary on uh, the death of Kurt Cobain. Oh yeah. yeah, that came out about seven, eight years ago. Uh, Kurt and Courtney. 
I don't know what it was. Was it called Kurt and Courtney? It's the one that said that uh, she was involved in the plotting. Yeah, that the, she got a hitman yeah. to kill Kurt Cobain and stuff. Yeah, that was it. And they finally find this guy, and he had a really scary name, and this guy couldn't kill a mosquito. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get the audio of that. What was that guy's name in that movie? I don't remember. And then, like after the like a month or two after filming, he was run over by a train. He was like a raging alcoholic that was in some obscure like punk band in Seattle or something. It was hilarious. Another movie. Yeah, that not was trying hilarious. to be hilarious. Was you remember when he was driving in the car and he goes, "Right here, we were going to use some audio from Nirvana, but Courtney wouldn't let us." Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, what about? The- oh, you did see the movie. Yeah, and he left so, that in the movie. So it's these two like bumbling idiots. They're like trying to like prove that Courtney killed Kurt, right? And now it's the moment that they've been waiting for on film. Their here cameras are rolling. They're- they finally got Courtney. They they only have her for like a couple seconds, and then all of a sudden, the the screen goes blank. And all of a sudden, there's a voiceover going, unfortunately, at this point, our battery ran out. <laughs> yeah. Remember that scene? <laughs> nice professional work. Another one of those movies so worth the renting because it's so silly uh, and funny. I forgot about that. When it I remember laughing in the movie <laughs> right. theater. And these people in front were evidently like big Nirvana fans. Oh, dude, uh, once and, again. And they would turn around and go like, ah. I, I, dude. I'm like, this is pathetic. I saw the movie in Cambridge. And uh, a huge Nirvana fan. P- most people know that. I was openly laughing, and but th- there were people in this theater, like you just said, that taking this movie like it was it was the real deal. <laughs> All right, here's the medical examiner. He uh, had examined the bodies after the uh, the bears ate good old Tim and his girlfriend. Uh, All right, his girlfriend. Timothy Treadwell and Amy Huguenot's remains came in this large metal can. <laughs> Inside this metal can was a plastic bag, one for Timothy and one for Amy. I mean, these are human beings, and the question I ask is, first of all, who are you, Timothy? Who are you, Amy? And what happened to you? I don't think you'll get an answer. In the case of Timothy and Amy, what I had were body parts, just the visual input of seeing a a detached human being before my eyes makes my heart... That's what I was going to say. The guy Yeah, he sounds listen. a little into it. You know what you couldn't tell in the beginning is he has these big silver crates. And he's like, Timothy and whatever her name was, and, and, and Hosebag, came here in these crates. And he wham, slams down as this big creepy echo. Yeah. Yeah. He just looks like he's way into death. Like, way yeah. into it. He gets to examiner. Why does he act like he's never seen a fucking de- No, he body? gets really into describing the uh, what happened to Ooh. these people. It's coming up. For my eyes, makes my heart race, makes the hair stand up on the back of makes my the head. Blood flow. Yeah, Particularly excited. in combination with the contents of a tape, an audio tape, that is the sound portion of a videotape. And when I find out from other investigators that the shoes neatly placed at the entrance to a tent and the cap left on a camera so that the visual part could not be recorded, yet the tape is right. Running so that we can hear the sounds of Amy screaming and the sounds of Timothy moaning tells me that this event occurred very, very quickly, suddenly and unexpectedly. I clearly can hear her screaming, stop and go away. Maybe run away. There's a lot of background noise. (laughs) Timothy is moaning. And I hear Amy beating on the top of this bear's head with a frying pan. And Timothy is saying, run away, let go. Run away, run away, Amy. Run away. Amy had a great deal of conviction. She had a great deal of conviction in this relationship. We know that. Although in the past, she was more standoffish. She didn't get as close to the bear as Timothy did. She was more cautious. However, I know that at the moment of death, when one is, is, is being tried to the maximum of one's ability to be faithful, to stick to a situation, to be loyal, if one can say that to Timothy, she stayed there and she fought with Timothy. She did not run away. Amy, okay. we know, fought back for approximately six minutes. Amy stayed with her lover, with her partner with her mate and with the bear. Ultimately, she stayed with the bear in the situation. 
Yeah, definitely smart a, move. Definitely a James Blunt moment right there for her. Where was she yeah. going to fucking run to? You're in the woods with a bunch of bears. Where are you going? <laughs> right. <laughs> where's, the, sort of slowly, where's the audio of him explaining You just slowly the sort of walk away like, all right, Tim. Yeah. Take it easy. It's the way you kind of wanted to go out. It's not the way I want to go, so I'm going to be leaving. I know. She's like, you haven't fucked me in years. <laughs> he wouldn't have had to tell me to run away. He would have been like, run away. Where are you? <laughs> here's, here's, here's a puff of smoke where you used to be. <laughs> here's the director or the main guy listening to the actual audio I like his, of him being eaten alive and his girlfriend. Go ahead. I go. like it, just his brutal uh, like reenactment of what they were saying, and he was like, run away. Run away. It was more like, run away! Yeah. Get it! Run away. There was a, but at this point, there was a lot of background noise. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it wasn't one of those quiet, getting eaten alive moments. <laughs> wasn't mixed well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They really didn't have good mic placement. This is the big bummer of the whole movie because they didn't play the audio. But yeah. this guy, you get to watch him listen to the audio with headphones on. Yeah, he gets to hear it. We can't. So there might be some dead space in here as he's listening to the audio. I don't know. This is Timothy's camera. During the fatal attack, there was no time to remove the lens cap. Jewel Palavac allowed me to listen to the audio. I hear rain and I hear Amy, get away, get away, go away. Yeah, he's listening. He's still listening. Grr, grr. He's listening. Grr, grr. No, 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 no. And he's listening. No, 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 no. Grr. He continues Can to listen. Turn it off. Grr. No, 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 no. He's grr. Grr. More listening. I bring nothing to the table. Huh, where did that come from? Grr. As he continues to listen. <laughs> Is he laughing? <laughs> Julie, you must never listen to this. I know, Werner. I'm never going to. And you must never look at the photos that I've seen at the coroner's office. I will never look at them. Yeah. Yeah. Chicken lichen. And you must never look at the photos while listening to Is the audio. <laughs> Comes. Now you know why no one's going to hear it. I think you you should not keep it. You should destroy it. Yeah. Thank you, I think that's what you should do. Yeah. Okay. Because it will be the white elephant in your room all your life. She was later killed by a white elephant. It's an odd <laughs> coincidence of that situation. You must burn it. You must dig a long ditch and get the people to load them in and covers them with kerosene and burns them so we are not, our crimes will not be si Oh, oh, the tape, yes. Burn the tape. You should never listen to this while looking at those pictures while having your ass eaten on a bear rug near a fireplace. <laughs> <laughs> Freep. Cockblock Nazi. <laughs> What did the uh, girlfriend look like? Oof. <laughs> she looked like she like could have been bear? in the woods. Yeah. <laughs> really? Being filmed. The kind of girl that had to give him the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Also known as a fag hag. Fag hag. Fag bear hag. Wow. What What year was this? Mm, a few years ago, I guess. I don't know. Something like that, yeah. Did the audio still exist? I th I think there's got to be more than had one. Had to get copy. out there somewhere. The cops, they always do. Ah, that the cops. cops the... Hey, yeah, hey, check this one. The cops hey. for the Christmas party, you got to think. Murphy ran off a tape. Look, yeah, yeah, look, yeah. Thing. All the shit they've seen, they're like yeah, eating they lasagna. Yeah. It doesn't bother yeah, them. Right. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm making an offer $25 to whoever wow. produces that audio. Holy wow. Jesus, that's a lot of money. And tickets to my February 24th, 25th Albany shows. Wow. That's right. <laughs> I don't think the <laughs> listeners will be sending an audio of a bear eating somebody. Twenty-five dollars. <laughs> All right, you owe me. Grr. 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 Listen to the pain he sounds. No, that, that's him Grr. ripping the flesh off uh, the bear's body. Grr. <laughs> All right, we'll leave with uh, one last clip here from Tim talking to the bears. 
Well, I just want to discuss that fight with with Mickey Bear right here. He's right. Oh yeah, he uh, he got on film uh, a crazy fight between two bears. A yeah. very violent, violent fight. It was that was a lot of fun to check out in the background. Two and he, heavyweights, and he's Bear about fight. fifty feet away from uh, what just happened. Well, I just want to discuss that fight with with Mickey Bear right here. He's right next to me here in the Grizzly Sanctuary on the Tide Flat, sat and off to camera left. Mick, you underestimated Sergeant Brown. You went in for the hit. He seemed to be rope doping you like he wasn't that tough. And then once you you oh banged into him, down goes man, Frazier. he turned out to be one heck of a rough bear, <laughs> a very rough bear. And I'm telling you, I was so scared. I almost got sick to my stomach watching you fight. And then when he knocked you down and you had him and you were down on your back, it was terrible. It was terrible. You can't I, win, Ron. I, I'm not duking it out for any girl like that. I'm telling you right now, I'm not duking it out for any girl. But no I, you kidding. know what? Like, yeah. Well, I've had my troubles with the girls. Yeah, yeah. And I'll tell you something. If Saturn was a female human, I could just see how beautiful she is as a bear. Whew. I've always called her Michelle Pfeiffer of bears out here. Michelle Pfeiffer. All right, you lay there. I'm going to go b off with your girlfriend. Don't beat me up over it. I'm, I'm cool. Even I'm the cool. bag knows he's gay. Yeah. Things are bad care. for me with the human women, but not so bad that I have to be hitting on bears yet. The bear's like, yeah, fine. He can sleep in the same bed with her. I don't care. <laughs> right. That Elvira, guy. The bear looks like Elvira. <laughs> <laughs> that guy is so gay and so in denial that he's got to say things like that. I've had some trouble with the women. The uh, but, but, you know, if... if Tell her about it. It is a movie of acceptance. It's unbelievable. Yes. <laughs> Through the whole film, he's talking about girls. And it's I, why he's there. doesn't understand why people yeah. think he's gay. He's not gay. It's why he was it drinking. It would be better to be gay. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, he's attacked by some fucking bear in skinhead boots. It <laughs> doesn't approve of his lifestyle. <laughs> uh, that's a little taste. The movie is just terrific. It's a little taste. That's funny. A little taste. <laughs> Michelle Pfeiffer bear. Michelle Pfeiffer. <laughs> I call her. Mm -hmm. um, before we go to First break. First half of that whole clip uh, CD you played, I thought it was still Mario Cantone's Grammy uh, <laughs> commentary. <laughs> oh, that was from the Grammys? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, it was after yeah. the, the, the after. view the next day. He oh, did. the view. He's funny, man. He just does all the voices. All the girls just got together. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Was uh, his angle like a gay thing or no? <laughs> he didn't do that again, did he? <laughs> yeah, that angle, that. I don't think he's changed that act. It's a 45 degree. It's actually a 90 degree angle when he's on his back and his legs are straight up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> it's the angle he takes. <laughs> we... I'm going to call you Liza, you bear, you big bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop eating me. <laughs> <laughs> when, when VH1 does the, the Tim Treadwell story. <laughs> Starring Mario Cantone. <laughs> well, they'll do it like a clip show, like fucking the 80s, where everybody chimes in and comments on what a fucking... The <laughs> grrr, grrr, grrr. Yeah. grrr. How Sparks. Yeah. Him. Some funny bear-eating anecdote. Yeah. Someone's saying the audio still exists. Jeff in Houston. Yeah, what's going on, gentlemen? Hey. Yeah. Yeah, they, um, on the Discovery Channel, when they aired it, by the way, thanks, Obi, for having me watch that goddamn dribble. They had a, a roundtable discussion after it was over, and they talked. And the girl talked about how she never did destroy the audio, so it's still there somewhere. Someone break into our house and get it for us. Yeah, I'll give you twenty-five dollars. <laughs> That's right. I'm willing to match that. Oh, I'll throw, wow. I'll throw uh, twelve fifty. In. That's <laughs> sixty-two fifty. Sixty-two dollars and fifty cents. All right. <laughs> sixty-two and a half dollars. We have more <laughs> drunk audio as we go to break. And then we got to get Bill the schizo comic in here from Cleveland. Bill, yeah. you're next, buddy. Oh, you're going to love this guy. You've talked to him? Yeah, he has that calmness of someone who just, like, murdered a whole room full of people. Yeah. Like, he just got it all out He's of him. He's all calm Horse now. To... Take me away. It's all right. Yeah, so yeah, exactly. Is he here or no? Huh? huh? Where's Poe? He's around. He's okay. around. Uh, don't, he'll be here when yeah, uh, but things... I... Uh... We got some drunk audio. Poe is diving deep down into a lake. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, getting ready. Yeah. Getting searching. Uh, drunk audio, Bill. I don't know if you've heard this on the show, but um, thanks to Craig Ferguson. He did a terrific job with this with the George Bush audio. We oh, decided yeah, yeah, to try yeah, it with yeah. our stuff. And uh, so the listeners are sending in some uh, some classic moments from the show with the audio slowed down so we sound drunk. Mm -hmm. And this one is Anthony uh, sounding very drunk uh, on the B day, on the B show. The B show? The B show, when we had, the, you know, the guys. Oh, the bees. I thought you had some curse word that you couldn't say. No, 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 no. Mm. 
Okay, listen to this. Anthony drunk. Yeah. At least I know a bee will not be stinging me <laughs> behind my back. I hope a bee lands in your jacket pocket and stings you and you put your hands in it later. I'm having my coat brought to the office. Oh, yes! Hey. Uh, hey, laughing, laughing boy. Yeah. Could you come here a minute? Yeah. Hey, Chuckle Boy, get in here. Don't look at me. Be a good intern, and uh, please hang this in the on office. the back of my chair in the bee-free office environment. Hang mine first and hang, hang Anthony sir. over mine in case no. a bee flies in. Hang mine on the back of my chair. Hang mine <laughs> under that. that sounds senile. And lose that fucking Red Sox hat. The That's preparation right. for this bit is just downright ridiculous. <laughs> it's uh, oh, it's great. He's snotting in the beast. Oh, that's great. You couldn't cover your mouth. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he couldn't cover his mouth. Oh, look at all the crap on your screen oh. now. <laughs> yeah, that would attract the bees. <laughs> little Mucus. little kiss. Little snack for them right on the screen. Can the bee get AIDS? <laughs> 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 Bill Burns Studio. What are we plugging, Bill? Uh, I'm going uh, to be at Bananas. Nice. Next, uh, Bananas and Poughkeepsie. 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 The police in Poughkeepsie. Say hi to everyone uh, in Poughkeepsie. Fe February uh, 17th and 18th, and then Hasbro Heights, Bananas. All right. And bananas. The following funny week. fruit. You guys oh, want to yeah. meet Bill, the schizo comic from Cleveland? Yes. Oh. Once again, we're doing American Mess. You wouldn't know it by listening to the show today because no one showed up. <laughs> Unbelievable. We are giving you an opportunity be, to be a huge star on this uh, fine radio show that a lot of people seem to like. Oh, and, guys, and this is the second week in a row that no one really showed up. It's an open call every Friday. Well, I think once that guy had the hump back, took his eye out and his teeth out him, he set the bar so high. But, uh, but we're also looking for people like uh, this guy, you know? There's nothing wrong with him physically except for the scary stare. Yeah. Um, but we're looking for, like, unique people. Whether yeah, it's and I a, think we found one. Whether it's that something is, wrong with your body rogue, or that some right kind there. of uh, strange talent. Yes. That, that is a rogue cop if I ever seen one. A rogue cop. Yeah. He's cop just, gone bad. He's just, he left the program. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm a mess. You're a mess? Yeah, I, uh, You gotta get a closer look at you. Wow. I spent all my money. I won 50000 in the lottery, and um, now I'm not eligible for uh, free medication anymore. I'm probably going to end up homeless. And I spend it all uh, on lottery tickets again. Really? <laughs> 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 That's terrific. It really is terrific. That's terrific. That's the minute, people. Yeah, we're uh, getting you on the uh, the webcam. So what do you like to do when you're not being mistaken for Brian Dennehy? <laughs> I, 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 I do stand-up comedy. Uh, full metal jacket Listen, all we, the uh, way with that stare. So no. More away from his face. But you know what I like? I like it. Into it. You ever like... Like I do, kind of thing, you know. That's that's the sport coat every cop wears when they're gonna put a black guy in jail with like no evidence. Yeah. <laughs> you just up there, just lying. Wait, no. The, you this know, copy looks like this you ever see Dog move. Day Afternoon. Okay, what's all drinks? What's all drinks? The guy that's trying to calm Pacino down. Ant, no. I had no. brain surgery too. Is I it? got hit by a car and I had brain surgery. Yeah. That's no reason. <laughs> you got. He got hit by a car. This guy is funny. This is part of his act. I love it. Oh, yeah. I, I like his act. Yeah, let, let's hear uh, what, what's your opening joke in your stand-up. Yeah, my opening Ladies joke. Ladies and gentlemen, keep it going for uh, Bill the Psycho. Come on. This comedy set is dedicated to all the deaf schizophrenics that can't hear their voices and to all the schizophrenics that thought they were Jesus. They all drown. <laughs> it's not bad He gets one. a laugh in the clubs. Yeah, it's not bad. Keep going. Um... I I hit I'm but uh, seriously folks yeah but seriously going. <laughs> I I 
the last time I had a girlfriend was in the mental hospital. We never really broke up. We just each underwent shock treatments and forgot we were dating. <laughs> that was a problem when I was in the mental hospital. I used to forget things. Like uh, I used to loan some really creepy guy named Jeff $5, and I'd forget I loaned to, to him after I got shock treatment. So I got smart and started writing things down of things I needed to remember. And here's a list from like 10 or 15 years ago of things I need to remember after I got shock treatments. Stop eating so much, you fat ass. Convince angry black Muslim roommate you're, I'm not the devil. Vanilla ice rocks. Jeffrey Dahmer owes you five dollars. Oh, Holy shit! I think the setup was a little wordy. Yeah. Yeah, I know. But I think I think <laughs> no, we got it, gets, it gets laughs. It gets, yeah, it gets laughs. Well, it helps <laughs> that you speed through it. Yeah, yeah, I like the fact that... Do, do another the, joke. Do the setup really fast, just like you did it, because that, that's working Someone for in Pal Talk is just writing, holy hell. <laughs> holy hell. My, now, you know what's good about you? A lot of comedians make the mistake of actually trying to pause or change inflection. Yeah. yeah. And that kind of ruins flow. You're, you're actually, the way you do it is perfect. And if shock treatment's going to be very important to your act, you might want to learn how to say shock. Oh, okay. How do you say Shock. Shock. It doesn't yeah, sound like that, track. right? I might have said it wrong. I'm nervous. I'm never yeah, no, it sounds like I'm, no, right. I'm serious. It sounds like track. My uh, my counselor's here tonight. Yeah. Uh, she has this policy. She like pretends many boom bots. She pretends she doesn't know who I am when she sees me out in public. That's cool. I pretend I don't know fat chicks. <laughs> you like that one? I like that one. I hope he loved that one. A uh, good one. There's a lot of awkward moments when you're schizophrenic. Like when you jump off a bridge and try and kill yourself and just break your legs at the bottom of the bridge, it's awkward when you try and call the cab and try and explain why you just need a ride to the top of the bridge. Say try a couple more times yeah. than that, and I think it'll be good. Yeah. Okay. yeah. You know what, though? You need one or two more uh, tries. I got, I got to know a little more about you. I got to know a little more about you. You're, you're schizophrenic. Yeah. Now, uh, you, you said something when I was getting the camera I didn't hear about medication. You can't afford it anymore? Well, pr I'm, I was getting it free. Because I'm not working, uh -huh. and but now that they know I won the lottery, I'm probably not going to get it free anymore. But if you won the lottery, you can afford it. I spent all my mo lottery tickets, money on lottery, on other lottery tickets. So you won wow. fifty thousand. Yeah, and I blew it. And you bought fifty thousand worth of lottery tickets. But I'm going to make it back selling T-shirts. Can I get my MySpace so Where I can sell T-shirts? Where are you from? Chicago or something? Cleveland. Cleveland. Oh, Ohio. Yeah. Yeah, and 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 you 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 spent it on lottery tickets. You scratched. What was that last one you scratched off? Like, were you just like, <laughs> oh come on, baby? <laughs> well, for, I, I I I won a ticket called Ohio Millionaire, and I scratched. I matched like a bell and a bell, and that one ten grand. Then another part one five grand, another part one five grand, another part yeah. one ten grand, wow. and it added up to fifty thousand dollars. Fifty thousand dollars. And um, what did they pay you? Uh, Thirty-five. You got thirty-five seven fifty. Thirty-five seven fifty, and you bought thirty-five thousand seven hundred fifty dollars worth well, of more tickets. Well, thirty-four thousand. I got like a thousand left. Ah, oh, you got a grand left. Yeah, I'm, that, which I spent to get up here. What so. What compelled you to do that and not maybe go to the track where your odds are a little better, or or, or Atlantic City and put it all on black on the wheel or something? Like, why pick something that is so? The odds of winning lottery twice are astronomical. I don't know why I didn't do that. You could have done a 50-50. You could have had a coin toss. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe next time, right? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, just go to a casino. Bet, bet on go red to casino. Or black. Bet on red or black. Can you I got my a 48% chance yeah, of winning. Yeah, what's your closing joke? Um, this, this comedy set was also dedicated to the memory of my ex-girlfriend. She's still alive. Things to do. <laughs> I get it. Kill, kill your ex girlfriend. <laughs> um, can I give my MySpace? Sure. Uh, yeah. My 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 MySpace is myspace dot com slash schizo. How long have you been on? Uh, it's a couple months. It's S K I T Z O B I L. Have you been on MySpace for a while? What's that? You been on MySpace for a while? For about a couple months. I hey, you know what? Just plug. Did, yeah, say it again because I didn't hear it. Ask myspace.com slash I love being on MySpace, man. Jimmy, yeah. Jimmy, the guy, he's, he's trying to do the podcast. My, MySpace. No, I do. Like, it's fucking amazing. I have it. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. I'm to work on some more friends. So what's the address? MySpace.com like slash friends. Friends. How many, how many friends you got? I've got 270. Cool. Well, that ain't that. that ain't Bill's that. my friend. But let me tell you I something. Am. You give out the address, you're going to have a lot more friends. That's what is right. it? MySpace.com. You know what? I have no friends. Everyone friends. Friends. I have 13,000 friends. I have a lot forgot. of uh, friends. I'm just about up to that point. Uh, it's yeah. fucking great. Right. But, uh, and we noticed if you do plug it, all of a sudden, bam. I have 13,000 friends now. 13, I lost 000. my car, too. Yeah? 
Wow. Uh, I, How did you lose it? I went to a comedy contest, and I uh, <laughs> I drove down there, and I only had enough money to get down there, and um, I... I uh, yeah. yeah. I checked into a mental hospital to get a... They gave me a Greyhound ride home. <laughs> That's not a joke. They, oh. Yeah, I know. That's joke. what It's right in. It's not a joke. <laughs> They gave me a Greyhound ticket home, and I, they, they charged me eighteen hundred dollars for it. So, wow! So, Bill, you're uh, you're schizo. Yeah. What's hear, that like? How's that work? No, I hear there was uh, something that happened to you with lottery tickets or something. You were on the phone the other day talking about that. Yeah, I just talked about it just now. What happened with the lottery tickets? On the phone, we've been waiting to hear it live. What yeah. happened with the uh, lottery? You, didn't, you never told a story when you called in. What was it like Monday or something? Yeah, you said there was a story about lottery tickets or something that we, we needed to and hear. And all our listeners have I been waiting to hear. I just told you guys. Aren't I, sending, am I hallucinating? They're sending feedback. Um, Everyone wants to know the lottery ticket story. That's all. I okay, know. I'll tell you what really happened. I was performing at a comedy club, right? And a lot of times after I perform, people come up to me and they'll say, "Hey, I'm I'm schizophrenic too." Right. And this guy comes up to me and says, "Hey, I'm schizophrenic too," and he says, "Don't listen to your doctor. Listen to your voices." And he says, "Well, do my voices give me lottery ticket winnings?" And he says, "Yes, they do." And later on, I swear to God, I saw the people I saw told me to buy that lottery ticket. Ah. But what, what lottery ticket? So what happened when you bought the lottery ticket? I won fifty thousand dollars. You won fifty thousand dollars from the lottery? Yeah. How What'd much? Uh, how I've much? got the thing out there. Where how much it? could you keep? What'd you do with the money? I I spent it on it. lottery tickets again. Get out of here. Ladies. Yeah. How many what did happened? you buy? I told you guys all this. No, you, no, you didn't. didn't. How many did? Well, how, how many guys did you are buy? Messing with my who, head. Wait, who brought you? In? That guy? Yeah, that that's Bill Squire. He's a morning comedian. Hey, you from like Chicago? Cleveland. Yeah, we're in oh, Ohio. Ohio. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The accent. I yeah, you sound it was like Chicago. you're from Chicago, dude. What do you do uh, when you're not being mistaken for Brian Dennehy? <laughs> <laughs> dude, a... This is all happening again, or something. I don't know what's up. Uh, I, I'm a stand-up comedian. Uh huh. I told my jokes already. Dude, do, do some of your act. Do some uh, stand-up. Do some of your act. You did a joke on the phone about um, something about shock treatment or something. I remember. Yeah, do, you do, do, do your opening, audience, so. do your do opening, opening joke. joke. Ladies and gentlemen, come to the stage. Give it up for uh, Schizo Bill. Yeah. What's your opening joke? This this comedy set is dedicated to all the deaf schizophrenics that can't hear their voices and to all the schizophrenics that thought they were Jesus. They all drown. <laughs> no, silence. Well, we told you to tell a joke. I just did tell a joke. Ah. Oh. That was a joke. Oh, 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 I see. It gets laughs. I got a tape. I sent you guys. Bill sent you guys a tape. <laughs> I, have, <laughs> I have evidence. Yeah. I have evidence. <laughs> I performed at Hilarities in the America's Funniest Mom Contest. Oh, that's things for me. Hey, what was it? What was it like when you scratched off that last lottery ticket? Oh my he God! You guys like, are screwing with baby. my head. Man, I need to see my psychology. How many? How much money did you wind up spending on lottery tickets? An, another like. Thirty thousand dollars. Thirty thousand. So you got, so you got like a grand won? left. I have, I have, I have like a grand left. That's it. Oh my wow. god, dude! But how'd you get down here? Line. Bill drove me. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So right. what do you like to do when you're not being mistaken for Brian Dennehy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you're a comic. Yeah, I'm a comic. Hey, do, do, your, uh, do, opening, yeah. do your opening uh, joke. Ladies and gentlemen, come to the stage. Keep joke. it going for Schizo Bill. I did my opening you joke. You did something on the no, phone you... about fucking... Um... Wait, wait, Schizo Bill. You, you didn't. Because we set up the mic and everything when uh, people want to do their act. We don't we don't allow comedians to do their act sitting down because it's awkward. Yeah, why didn't you do that for me before then? When? Well... Do you want to set up? We'll do it. If let's you hear do the down, opening joke. Here, stand up and uh, let's hear the opening joke. This should be good. It's Schizo Bill, the uh, the comic from uh, Cleveland, right? Chicago. Uh, yeah. Chicago? No, Cleveland. Oh, Cleveland. Oh, okay. I thought uh, he had like a Midwest accent. Ohio. I Hi. thought you were from Chicago. Hi, my name's Bill, and I'm schizophrenic. This comedy set was dedicated is dedicated to all the schizophrenics that... Uh, the deaf gets. I, I screwed up the joke. That's just not over. That never hurts it. Yeah. All right, sit down. All right. Yeah, yeah sit down. Yeah, sit down, and uh, yeah. that might be easier. This, this actually, wait. You, you should stand up. Actually, you, think? you know what? Yeah. I like him standing up. Yeah. I, I was yeah. think about it now yeah, a little longer. I was going to say that, but oh, dude, dude, you broke the thing. The mic just came out of. Oh, you better sit down because you broke the thing. Yeah, the mic doesn't go all the way up. So you got to get him down. Get comfortable. I'll Dan, just... Dan, you hold on to it, and then you stand up and you, 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 you hold it up. You hold it because yeah, you broke hold it. it oh, yeah, that's stand. a good idea. Is that fixable? Dan will hold the mic for you, so stand up, Bill, so we can get there your you opening joke. 
All right. You know what? The pal talk camera. They they're they're saying they can't see him. Oh. Uh, you better sit down because your your head is being cut off. You don't unless you want your head cut off. Yeah, there you go. You know go. what? If if I hold it back like this, he could stand up. Wait, tilt it. Yeah, I'm gonna tilt like it that? like that. All yeah. right. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Yeah, stand yeah. up, Bill. You know what? It shakes too much. Put it back down. Oh, dust my phone. Yeah. You, now the top of your head, you better. You sit guys back are all down. plotting against me. No, 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 no. That's just stop being paranoid. You know something? I think you need medication if you're I thinking do that. Need but medication. take a seat because. Take a seat. Uh, Right. Actually, I could kind of raise the camera electrically. Yeah. Uh, you can yeah. do that? Pot it up yeah. a bit. I'll tell you, that technology is, is I something. I can pop it up if you want them to stand. So you got a, do you have a MySpace account? Yeah. Oh, you do? Yeah. A lot of people are into MySpace these fucking, days. Jimmy it's has un- it's I have amazing, a lot of... Uh, amazing. You know how many fucking t-shirts I sold the other day? A lot, right? I'm selling t-shirts. That's oh, it. you are? Why don't, oh, you okay. give, uh, why don't you give a plug? My, my t-shirts say... Uh, no, I'll give a plug for your MySpace. Yeah. MySpace. MySpace.com. Uh, slash uh, I know one, one of my friends. Hey, hey, one of my yeah, friends yeah. on there. Before I got on He's there, I had like uh, none. I'm and trying now, to plug it. I, that's He's... what we're telling you to do. Okay, it's MySpace.com. Because I had 250, hey, hey, and then hey, now hey, I got hey, over 12,000, hey, almost so ridiculous. Hey. The way you do that. I try, but you got to keep in touch with your fans is what it's all about. MySpace.com. He's a big bear. He's a big bear. Look at him. Isn't he a big bear? How many actually give bulletins? I have 278. Everything like that. That. Yeah, 278. You'll Bill's, notice Bill's because, my friend. Bill because of the plugs, to join my fan club. because of the friend plugs you, you give, yeah. uh, you'll notice you'll, your friend rate yeah. will go through the Just roof. Just plug it, dude. Plug it. MySpace.com. It's so good. The whole contest about we had more people, week, and I want to. I'm winning amazing. so far. How many do you have? Thirteen thousand. Yeah, that's and a I, lot. I have yeah. just yeah. under thirteen. You're a famous yeah, Dane Cook, and just you know, I mean, seventeen thousand people. Please, a lot. Give out your MySpace address, and let's go out with more something else. MySpace.com. Oh, it's like it's 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 getting so more it's it's getting so yeah, 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 you have to do it. Norton. You have to do it. <laughs> exactly. So I got hit uh, by a car. Did I tell you guys I got hit by a car? No. no. I what had happened? brain surgery. I had a subdural hematoma. Where Do you have a scar? Yeah. Where is it? Back here. His head. Yeah, turn around. I literally thought he was going to pull his <laughs> just the two yeah. pay off. Keep turning. Wait. Turn, you, turn all the way around. can't see it. Yeah, go all the way around. No, keep turning. Keep going. Keep turning around. Stop right there. No, turn in the other Oh, there it is. There it is. Now stop right there. He's looking at Lou. Do your act. Look at Lou Grant neck. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I bet you got a lot of hair on your back, right? Yeah. Yeah, you could tell. It goes right from your back to your head. You gotta shave that. There stuff. is a big know where the back there hair begins. Uh, <laughs> no, turn that, the other way. We got a camera going the other way. So we're going up and down, Lou. <laughs> keep that, turning. Uh, keep wow. turning all the way around. The camera's behind you, dude. Now. That is a huge. No, scar. turn the other way. The other way. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! What the dude? Why do you have a scar on your neck? That was a. You said that was a car. What was it? The Chevy lobotomy. <laughs> <laughs> dude, why do you have a scar on your neck? That's fucking massive. That is a big one. What happened? Um. Oh, did I tell you guys I'm in law? I was in law school. I want to hear about dude. the car. Yeah, we already okay. heard about. I was that. at a party, and a car. I was in charge of the party. Yeah. And a car hit a car in the back lot, and everyone screamed my name, and so I ran out to stop the car, and I did a, I hit, I jumped up, hit the windshield, did a triple flip up in the air, and hit, then hit my head on the ground. As a trick? No, that's what it's, happened. That was a trick. <laughs> I would, jo- I would joke about it, but it's not that funny. I know you told yeah. it, and it's no, I didn't laugh. tell. It. You did. didn't tell it. You what? did yeah, before. Did I? Yeah, yeah, like three times. Try it again. No, I'm not going to tell it. It's on. not that funny with you. No, hold on. Let's not mess with him. You already yeah. told the joke. It didn't get it. You anything. told that one. It wasn't that oh. good. I told the joke. Your, about uh, the car, your, your friend out there, when he or- originally called, said that not only are you schizophrenic comic, but that you uh, won the lottery. That's My kind of God. odd. God. Oh my God! A lot of people, if they won the lottery, would be. Uh, Dude, I, out. Never, I never. How much did you win? It. I never no. I think I won fifty thousand dollars, but 50, I'm not sure what's going dollars. on anymore. You certainly didn't spend it on clothes. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know those clothes make them look like some uh, um, uh, what a fucking the detective. No, yeah, what the hell is this? So what do you do, man? When you're a not being mistaken for Brian Dennehy. I'm in, I'm in, <laughs> I'm in grad school. Hey, Jimmy, that was I'm in grad school. I was in law school, but I flunked out. <laughs> And I'm, now I'm in grad school. Well, uh-huh. So you're in grad school, and you so win what, the lottery? You're bullshitting. You're what bullshitting. else do you do from, for, like, another job? You got another job? No. I, I'm, I'm, just in, I'm just in grad school, and uh, I'm in my last semester of grad school. What do you do at night? He's grad to be there. I don't oh, do man. anything. You're incorrigible. So this lottery thing. How much? How much did you, uh, did you win? $50,000. 50 large. What'd you spend What'd it you on? What'd you spend it on, Did man? you always play the lottery growing up? Um, no, no. But I spent it on scratch-off tickets. Get out of here. Why would you spend lottery winnings on scratch-off tickets? Certainly didn't spend it on clothes. <laughs> oh, my God. 
<laughs> What's wrong, Bill? Oh, man. You Bill. guys are driving me nuts. Why didn't you go to, like, so, casino? I mean, the odds were so much better. I think instead of scratch-off tickets, boy, that must have been something scratching that last ticket off. You must have been like, come on, baby. <laughs> come on, baby. Dude, I never I got a winner. Up. No? I never. You should have gone that. to the track or Atlantic City or something. Put it all on Put red. On At least you got, like, a 50-50 yeah. yeah. chance or something. But the odds are a little better. So you've been playing the lottery your whole life, or... Like, uh, what made you play the lottery? Uh, mm. Voices told me to, to buy that particular ticket. Wow, well, I, really? I used to get voices used to give me stock picks. I was actually hospitalized for that. Really? Yeah. Kill well, yourself. Were they bad? No, I was getting really good picks. Morgan Stanley stopped Kill me from yourself. trading. What? Morgan Stanley stopped me from trading. Why? I hate those two because guys. Because I was doing too good. Kill yourself. Really? Yeah. What happened? Kill yourself. Morgan Stanley stopped me from trading because I was doing too good Kill in the stock yourself. market. Okay. Too good? Why would they stop you? Kill because yourself. they thought I had inside information. Kill. Well, all because uh, you were actually kill. doing well. Yeah. Kill. Okay. Cool. Yeah, like inside kill. information, the voices in your head? Yeah. Kill. Did Tom kill. Cruise take inside information? I get it. Did uh, Tom Cruise kill. take you to Las Vegas after that? <laughs> Dressed <laughs> no. in a brown suit? Kill. No. I don't like autistic left. people. That is some suit you're wearing there. Kill. The you should get a MySpace account, dude, if you want to get fans, because as a comedian, kill it's just great to advertise. To I've got a MySpace kill, account. Excellent. And he's All right. MySpace.com slash Scuto Bill. MySpace.com slash Scuto Bill. He's one of my best friends. One of my best friends. And I'm at Wilbur's on Tuesday. One of my best friends on MySpace. And I love him so much I have to shout it. Put out a bulletin. It gets to a lot. Bill, if you're going to hang out with us, you can't yell. Why are you yelling? I don't know. I'm not good at this radio. But why are you yelling? Yeah, the yelling is a little much. Why would you even yell? I hear that Chicago accent coming through. You grew up in Chicago? Bill, no one was talking. We said give no, your but, plug, but and then all of a sudden you start yelling at everybody. Comedy. Like, what my, made you want to Where are you comedy? from? Anybody tell you look like Brian Dennehy? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Dennehy. <laughs> 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 he just, it's unbelievable. My it's sister lives in Chicago. She invented Where are you the, from? the McDLT box. My I've sister invented the McDLT box. But it's been a you know long time since I've been to Chicago. Huh? It's you know, the Windy City, Jimmy. I've once in a while. Like, I'll occasionally go out and do a gig there. But once in a while, I've done Cleveland, too. A lot of times I go to Maine. I was on MySpace the other night, and I was talking to this guy. All I know about Chicago is... He's one of my friends on MySpace. You were talking to me. Uh, sometimes I work in Jersey, uh, which is my home club. Yeah. Other times, it's amazing thing we other times talk back and forth. Back and forth. Yeah. He yeah. actually sells t shirts. You know, and, uh, yeah, yeah, my t shirts say, say that my love for you is stronger than any restraining order. I always do well. I've never seen shirts. I don't think it's my friend. I don't know, though. I just You meet somebody online and you want to continue talking. Do you guys bring Poland here for every guest? And then I have a good time with them. I got to approve them, so I got to go through all of them. I remember back when I was in first grade. I would have gone in the road. We're probably not even on the air anymore. You guys are just not just I, I, I a lot of times I just uh, clicked in the eyes and eyes and eyes. Do you remember the eyes. fucking time we uh, were on MySpace and we were just going there, back and forth? It was amazing. I mean, we must, so we must have went back and forth like yeah. 22 times. I tried to do well. And <laughs> it was I was one time went to Fort Lauderdale and I went out bombing and the guy's like, you're not coming back here. And I'm like, all right, we'll just send me So how long you live in Chicago? I mean, you know, I don't live in Chicago. Where are you from? Creepy bear. Ohio? I'm from Ohio. Ohio. Yes, he knows. Oh. He's remembering things. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? The voice in your you head. No, the guy over there. No, what no, guy? There's no guy over there. there. I'm trying to tell you something, dude. He's trying to point out a guy. Jimmy's talking. To you no guy the West there, Coast is different. Have you ever seen a beautiful mind? Yes, way. I've seen a beautiful mind. Do you remember when he was imagining a friend? There's nobody sitting there. I'm trying to teach I'm you something. I'm pretty sure there's a guy sitting there, and I think it's Anthony. I'm not a big fan of the show because I don't have that sound. I'm trying to tell you something. Anthony called in sick today. I hate to tell you. Yeah, Anthony yeah. hasn't been here actually since Tuesday. What does he look like? Dude, I'm trying uh, to tell you something. You know what? Anthony is actually in your hometown of Chicago Dude, right I'm now. I'm trying to tell you something. Yeah. Why are people putting pictures of dead things near me? Why? What are you talking what? about? Dead things? Dead so, things. Dude, you've been doing stand-up for how long? Uh, a year and two months. Okay, is it your full-time job? No. Cool. I, but I got a gig in Cambridge, Ohio this Saturday. Oh, nice. So what are you doing? Hey, You're not being mistaken for Brian Dennehy. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Dennehy. <laughs> hey, Bill, mm-hmm. what, yeah. what happened? To where? I, I'm not sure what happened. You got a scar on your head. You what have happened? a scar on your head. They were just pointing out. I got hit by a car. Are you kidding? Get out of here. Hey, turn around so we can Let see. Let me see. He did not get hit by a car. Keep turning. Keep turning. Holy that is a big crap, scar. that's a lot of hair. Hey, uh, Lou Grant neck, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that's a I lot of hair. I don't know how I come up with this stuff. I, I bet just... you got a hairy back, right? <laughs> oh, my God. I need more shock treatments. <laughs> Why? What's wrong? Uh, the, Kill you guys, what's that's a hell of a head, scar, man. I'm hearing voices. Did you get yeah. hit by a Chevy lobotomy? <laughs> 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 yeah, I'll tell you, you're on fire. <laughs> I try. All right. Do I win an XM satellite thing, or is there some other creepy person satellite. coming? Satellite. 
This is terrestrial what? radio. Could you please watch your language? Put foil on your head. Oh, it protects I, you from the satellite yourself. rays. Kill yourself. Ever do that? Everyone knows you ever put foil on your head? Underwear. Kill yourself. Keep so. the signals from uh, getting through. You ever you heard of that? They're seeing is there right a guy right there? You. They're seeing right through you. There's no one. They know you wear <laughs> ladies' <laughs> panties. Kill yourself. It's just me, you. Kill yourself. Jimmy. Kill yourself. You're the guy that they say is not here. Kill yourself. What, what are you guy? talking to? I don't. What, are you what about? guy, Bill? That guy right over there. If you keep talking, I think his name is Anthony. If you keep talking to yourself. They're going to think you're. Crazy. And that's Jim Norton, and that's Bill Burr. I know that's Bill Burr because he's a friend of mine on MySpace. Oh, you're on you're MySpace. MySpace. You're on MySpace account. MySpace.com. Right, right, right now, this guy is one of the greatest, one of the best funniest ways to guys. Market yourself Stay on MySpace. A lot of times when you go on the road, or anything really. I like to work Massachusetts. I like to work Fort Lauderdale. But you got to hype your site. Hype your site. Get it in there. MySpace is a good friend of mine. He's a good friend of mine on MySpace. I really enjoy MySpace. It's getting as many people on board as you can because then you could. Send out yeah. the bulletins, <laughs> yep. tell people where you're going to be. So the more friends you have, <laughs> hey. the better you're going to do. So give it one more plug. Come on, man. There's a lot of dead air my here. Space, yeah. I started. My, I had no friends. And within a matter of months, Jim. I got my, like almost 13,000 friends right now. 14, Jimmy 000. had a bunch of friends. Jimmy, he's That's not here. Trying 14, to beat him. We got a little competition. Give me a pen I'll put it on the... But, yeah, go ahead. Put it down. Uh, yeah, whatever go. works for you. All right, listen. All right, we got to know Schizo Bill. This is American Mess. I think it's time to hear a little bit of your act. That's why you're in here. That's tough for a con to do your act. Do you want to do it? Sitting down or standing up, it's really up to you. I'll do it standing up. All yeah, right, hold on. Uh, right. Set up the camera. Oh, I gotta fix the uh, camera because your head is kind of cut off. You can't see him, dude. You gotta sit down. Uh, wait a minute. Your head's being. Yeah, you're, yeah, yeah. You're right. You better sit down. Oh, sit you know down. what? What if I angle it? What if I was to angle it a yeah, little bit higher? Yeah, tilt it back. Tilt it back. Stand up. All right. Just, I'm gonna angle it a little bit higher. Yeah. All right. Now try standing up. This might work now, Bill. Go, nice, nice. Stand up, dude. There All you right. go. There you yeah. go. Anthony, what do you think? Uh, it shakes too much. It's shaking. Oh, it's shaking. Too much. You better put it back down. No, I'm sorry about that. Uh, uh, yeah, sit down. Now you can't see his head. There yeah, you go. Tough oh, I, I want to apologize to all the mentally ill oh, people that I, I can offended. actually raise the camera electronically. You yeah, can do that? that? Yeah, I got control. I'll tell you, there. that technology is amazing. Pile up. All right. There it is. I'm trying to say something. Okay. Oh, go ahead, man. I want Welcome to the program. Chicago Zone. What do you have to say? Bill. I want to apologize to all the mentally ill people that I've offended, and uh, there's some. Hold on, Bill. You haven't up. offended anyone because you haven't done your act yet. Why, Why don't you do your act, and then at the end of your act, finally you can, invited you, you can in. apologize, people, and Why we want to hear a little anybody? of your act. I what's your people. What's your opener? Why? How do you open uh, when you're a schizo comic? How do you open the show? What's your opening joke? This well, wait. Do you want him to stand up or sit down? We haven't decided. What that are you yet. more comfortable doing? I'm just going to stay here. I mean, I you're a stand-up up comedian. I don't know. Wearing that suit, I don't think I want to see him standing up. Yeah, it's the bogus suit. I know. What do you do all that money you want besides not spending on clothes? <laughs> 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 yeah, you should have saved some money for clothes. I, I signed up uh, on a MySpace.com. Now, tell you, this guy is, is one of my best friends. friends. Everything will help one of my out. best friends on MySpace. Hey, Bill. Cool. Yeah. All right. What's this? Um, so cool. do you want to do what, some of your act? Dude, that? do some Wait, wait, wait. Wait, what, Bill? There's a guy in a beekeeper suit Keep your, around. What are you doing? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, sure. That he happens gave, every day on a radio me, show. He gave me tape. Dude, do some of your act. Do, like, I know it's kind of Wait, hold on a minute. This guy is nuts. You just saw what? A guy in a beekeeper suit came in here and gave me tape and put a basket here. Can you see this basket? Is that your opening line? Do your opening line. What's your yeah. opening line? That ain't oh, this is where he pretends like a, he's, he's not on medication. If you have a setup for it, it would help, though. Yeah. I'm... Are you I'm, playing the crazy guy? Which I'm playing the crazy guy. Because that would be kind of cool. A guy right. comes out and all Jim. of a sudden he's m imagining things the guy, on the stage. I, I, I think Jim's on to something. I think, I think this is an act. He's pretending yeah. to be crazy. Oh, I saw a guy in a beekeeper suit. I mean, what a fucking hack, man. I mean, come on. Yeah. That's dude? not hack. You got to brilliant. You gotta dude, come up with a better reference. I'm brilliant. I just invented a guy in a beekeeper Jimmy, suit. Jimmy, out of nowhere. how many times have you heard the beekeeper reference? I mean, I, I've, I've heard it once. I've heard it a hundred times. Yeah. A lot. And I've heard it once. Carlos Mencia does it. Exactly. And before him, Robin Williams did the whole yeah, they I stole it from me. They stole the beekeeper act from me. Have you All ever right. worked with the Punisher? Who's that? It's the guy that put, held the electrodes to his head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I can't believe you just saw a beekeeper. That's a little strange. But then yeah. again, you're schizo Bill, so that would be And he can't sense. afford his medication anymore. Right. So why don't you... Uh, I thought I was taking it now, but I think I need schizo more. Bill. Do your opening stuff, buddy. That's what you're here for. Right. This comedy set is dedicated to all the deaf schizophrenics that can't Stopped. hear their voices. Oh, that's the guy that doesn't exist is telling me I stop. I didn't say a no word. No one said Will I you swear. stop pointing out the window and just focus on your act? Do your act, bro. Yeah. And to all the schizophrenics, stop. Dude, what Jesus, time tomorrow? We but they all stop. Down. Kill so. yourself. All right. Um, 
Looks like a celebrity. I did a I joke figured. about hold suicide on a already. Bill, hold on a minute. So what do you do in your spare time when you're not being mistaken for Brian Dennehy? <laughs> 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 Brian Dennehy. <laughs> Uh, he was with a cop from Dog Day Afternoon. Give us some drinks. It's <laughs> uh, like a rogue cop. <laughs> this is crazy. A <laughs> rogue you guys, cop. You guys are all plotting just against one me. of those guys. He's just out there doing his uh, own thing. Your buddy, who actually turned us uh, on to you, told me you won the lottery. My God, yes, I won the lottery. How much? I won $50,000. 50 grand. Fifty yeah, large. Yeah. What'd you do with the money? Certainly, obviously, I spent it on. <laughs> I spent it on this suit, and there's a beekeeper. What did you do with it? Wait, wait, what? The beekeeper's here again. Yeah, the it's beekeeper perfect. joke didn't work the first time. All right, you spent it on what? The beekeeper came in and walked out with a sugar. Bill, Bill, Bill relax, relax. Bill. Yeah, sure. Do you relax. opening joke, brother. We're, why would he I, do it? Why having, would someone he's, he's in a having beekeeper... an episode? He, yeah, let's just. I want to know what he spent his lottery money on. You're here with friends. There's no beekeeper. There's nobody sitting here, okay? We MySpace.com just, slash trying, Anthony Cumia. We're trying to hype your act here. Yes. This, this show is known for Okay, I'm at Wilbur's Tuesday. I'm telling you right now there when I was go. sitting there. There, there, all right. Yeah, you're yeah. among friends, Ricky. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm at Wilbur's Tuesday in Cleveland. Wait, can you hold on a second? Do wait, where are you going to be performing? Wait, wait. What? Where are you, you going to be performing? Wait, wait. Wilbur's wait. I'm Opie. Look at me. I'm a redhead. I'm Opie. You're Bill Burr. No, I'm Opie. You're... Shh, wait. Bill Shh, Burr wait. flipped out on Monday. He'll never be on this show again. I'm Opie. All right, dude. So do some of your act, man. You have to do, the, do a little bit of material. Quiet. You got to stop looking over there. Look at this. Is Anthony's right here? Yeah. I'm don't Opie. don't say anything. It's bad. Do, yeah, do your do act. Do some of your act. Uh, Come on, this is this is awkward silence. No. All right, don't, all right. don't talk. Don't talk. Dude, you gotta get on the road. That's bad the things will. Thing. Bad I things will happen. Road, gotta, bad things if you talk. I've done Vegas, Steve Wait, Arms. Cambridge, I've been all over the place. Where in Cambridge? That's great. That's I don't know. I've never hotel, done Cambridge, but I heard it's actually a really good city. I've done Vegas. I've done Los Angeles. I mean, Bill, watch out for that mouse trap in front of you. Hey, have you have you gotten out to Vegas yet? No. You haven't gotten out there. No. <laughs> Bad things. That's a quick flight from Chicago, I, man. I, I, farthest I did was Charlotte, North Carolina. Oh, I did the oh, comedy you zone You're from uh, Chicago. Yes, to North we're Carolina. A lot of comedians have Bill, come out of Chicago. Just, so. Bill, look over here. I know. We're, we're over biggies. here. What? All right, Bill. Are, are you okay? Right. I'd love to hear some of your act. Are you okay? We're, we're yes, over I'm here. Okay. You don't we're seem all right. Yeah, you're fine. Do some of your act. You're a little okay. flushed. Are you okay? Yeah, stand up. We're, we're you need here. help? Should stand we call up and do somebody? Do you want to stand or do you want to sit? It's up to him, dude. You can't make him stand. What do you want to do? All right, stand up. Anthony, Anthony. Let's uh, have him stand up. up. Anthony, yeah. he, she seems to be... Bill, why are you standing up? That's a problem because uh, can't see the it. top of his head is cut off. But why is he standing camera? up? Who told him to stand up? I the camera was set perfectly for him sitting down. Just sit down. Okay. Okay, Bill. Do some of your act. Bill, just... How do you open? I'm, I'm also in law school. Okay. Um, I got into law Dude, school through a special program that considers adversity. Everybody facing is saying it's an awful film. film. Horrible. I know. We, we should talk about the Pink Panther movie in a little while here. But My adversity I is I got hit by a hit and run driver and had brain surgery, really no and I'm it. schizophrenic. Yep. See, yeah. now that's a good joke. I'm, what joke? That's what I'm not telling you. You said Steve Martin's no good. I was very well qualified. I was three point at a three point eight two grade point average in grad school, but I didn't get in the first time I applied. I guess some autistic guy with a lobotomy and a four point oh must have beat me out. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. You like I that like one? that joke. Yes. That's a that really a, good that joke. That was a good joke. <laughs> that's, that's a good, a good joke. But how do you open up your act? That's what everyone wants to know. I've been trying to tell you people. Then open, dude. You haven't. Okay, I forgot how I open my act. No, all right. Oh. Well, let's let him open the, the, his go first ahead. joke. Seriously, go ahead. Let him do it. Finally. Okay. When I was in the mental hospital, I did therapy. I did art therapy, music therapy, and writing therapy. In writing therapy, I learned to write poetry. I write poetry to the woman I stalk. I write things like, love is a strange emotion, yet I understand it when I'm with you. I seriously considered suicide until I met you, and my love for you is stronger than any restraining order. You don't like that one? Well, where's the... Um... Hey, where'd you get that? You're holding a stuffed thing. What'd you do with the fucking head? Someone cut the head off. That is sick. Uh, that someone is you. Holy Look shit. Look in your right that hand. Is sick. Your other right. Yeah, you why is there the blood evidence? on your hand, Bill? There's no blood on your hand. Reach me. into the neck and pull the head out. Reach into the neck and pull the head out. Reach into the neck and pull the head out. Dude, the Pink what? Panther's getting Reach really into bad into the reviews. neck. Oh, my head. God. What did you do movie. to the head? Bill, what'd you just do? Smell you. You killed it. MySpace.com. I have a friend on MySpace, but now I have more than I ever imagined. All right. Well, um, wow. This is odd. 
Anthony, did you see what he did to that? I don't know why you'd do that. I have no idea that why you'd do that. That was a little creepy there, uh, Schizo Why hurt a little furry thing? There's a guy with a camera there, too. He films everybody that comes Listen. in. Listen. Listen. Yeah. All right. It's probably he's, just, it's just, he is there. It's yeah, just, he's yes. definitely there. The beekeeper, I don't know where you got that from. Bill, who are you talking to? There's no to? beekeeper. There's nobody over there. There's... Just there's, me. I'm going to tell Anthony. you who's all here and see. You. There's a guy there. Right. He's there. There's a guy there. There's nobody over there. Yeah, he's there. You're there. I'm here. Sure. He's Anthony, not there. Anthony, who's That's he right. talking to? Bill Burr is there. Yeah. Opie. Who is this Bill guy? You're Bill. I saw him at Caroline's. He sucks. He's never going to be on this show. Yeah, they were saying you sucked the other day. Dude, they're killing the that. fucking uh, Pink Panther. Why would he do that? Mm. I don't Pink Panther sucks. All right. Oh, I thought you were extra in that. No. They filmed it in Chicago. I don't know how you didn't get any work. I You're from I, Chicago, right? You do Zanies a lot in Chicago? No, I never did Zanies. I'm going to go Chicago, there for last comic not? standing. I'm going to go there for last comic standing. Why don't you just do it? You live there. Oh, I yeah? I live there. What's your opening joke going to be Your suburbs? I, suburbs of Chicago? I don't know what my opening joke's going to be. I'm all confused. My, my God. What? They're, the, the beekeeper's back. What are you talking about? There's, Man, you need help. There's no help. beekeeper. You need some uh, medication or I'm something. Exhausted, That's... brother. Come on, man, do some new stuff. Is that guy's there, right? What guy? That's guy. Poe. I think yeah, that's Poe's Poe. right here. Yeah, so yeah Poe is okay. Him and the camera. Right. And there's a reason for that. Poe is right. here because you keep pointing at people who aren't here. They're... That's why you brought Poe in. Uh, yeah, it's so Bill. Here anyway. They're telling us you have to go. Okay. Oh, I don't have to go, but if you no, want to go, no, I don't know. You're telling us you have to go, though. I don't know what they that told means. Us. I think that okay. beekeeper thing was kind somebody, of freaking people out. Somebody, that guy who told us you have to go or something? That that guy, Bill, he's there. Yeah. The Mormon guy. Yeah, I, thought, you, I to thought you were Bill. Okay, I'll go. I thought, you I thought he was an actor. All right. Wait, someone's talking to me over the phone, over this thing. What are you talking about? Hello? All right, now you're... Yeah. Yeah. Who's yeah. Yeah. All right, well, who, who, who the fuck are you someone's talking, talking to? Someone's talking to me. Dude, what, what, what are they saying? Talk, what are they saying? What are they saying? Someone's saying Bill. Look at us. Look, I'm away from my mic. Who are you talking to? Yeah. Wait a minute. I have a test to find out how I know if someone's imaginary or not. All okay. right. What's my real name? Uh, Only my imaginary people know my real name. You don't know it, so you're not imaginary. Ha! Maybe I'm just not telling you. That's, that's true. Maybe I'm just not telling you. Maybe I'm a little better than the other voices. I know you. Mean. And I don't want to just be lumped in. Okay, we're back. We're back from commercials. Listen, um, we got a very good uh, stand-up comedian from Chicago. He's going to tell us some of our jokes. I know, Anthony, you've been looking forward to this. Yes. Um, tell us, uh, you got a big weekend coming up. Uh, Doing a road gig in Cleveland. That's quite a travel from your hometown. I'm from doing Chicago, Tuesday, isn't it? At, Tuesday at Wilbert's. Tuesday oh, at Wilbert's. Wilbert's. Where's that? It's, Give us an example of some of the material that they. Well, where's Wilbert's? Some of the viewers. Gig, where's Jim B? Wilbert's is. I a, definitely want to hear a schizophrenic Wil comic. Wilbert is a is schizophrenic a... comic. Yeah, you played that, that haven't you, Jim? No, but I've heard of it. I never actually. You got any gig. schizophrenic material, or do you just not pay attention to being a schizo? Oh no, it's Bill, some schizophrenic over here. Material. Oh, over here. So um, what do you open with then, Martin? So what do you open with? What's your opening joke, Martin? Um, your friend out there Martin. called us about you and told us you won the lottery. Yeah, I won the lottery. Martin. How much did you win? I won. Uh, Listen to me, Martin. What did you spend it on? Lottery, Listen tickets. lottery tickets. Why don't you just go to the track or Atlantic City? You could have gotten 50 50 Martin. odds on the wheel. Just put it all on red. You've been a very bad boy, uh, man, Martin. What are you doing? You're not, Brian you're not doing you got your a job. You've got to talk on the radio. I am. I'm I got a MySpace account. To get you to your <laughs> Anthony's calling Martin. you. Why don't you plug it? You get a lot of yeah, you do your act. Act. I've never heard you do. You do your act. I don't do my act on the radio. You know, I'm sure you're oh. on the internet. A lot of comedians are today. Right. Are you on MySpace? They're telling us you have to go, uh, Martin. Okay. Yeah, we gotta let you be. Martin, All right, I'll see you. What's this Martin guy? Who's Martin? Who's Martin? Who's Martin? There is no Martin. There's only Bill. But and there's a Martin there too. Martin. Was there? I do my act in two personalities. I uh, Martin is also another personality. Okay, we're back from commercial. So we got a stand-up comedian here. He's going to be doing a road gig in Chicago. Um, could you give us an example of some of your material? I know, Home Anthony, you, you've been looking forward to it, haven't you? Yeah, I'd love to hear something. What are you open with? Oh, my God. Your yeah. friend on the phone last week told me you won the lottery? Bullshit. Yeah. How yeah. much did you win? $50,000. What'd 50 you grand. What did you spend the money on? You certainly didn't spend it on clothes. <laughs> <laughs> what did you buy with it? 
Um, Where are you going? Why are you taking your headphones off? Uh, someone told me to. Who? Who? The headphone. The headphone told you <laughs> wow. to take your headphones off? Yeah. That is fucked <laughs> up, dude. Why do you guys use these headphones anyway? What's up with that? What? Well, we use them sometimes when we want to. <laughs> What are you chugging the drapes for? What's what's going on here? And we're back from commercial. We have a uh, actually really been looking forward to this. We have a very funny stand-up comedian here, actually doing a road gig in Chicago. Um, he's going to give us an example. You guys of some must of his be material. a commercial because he's gone. He's the leader of the party. Uh, Bill, I want to thank you for coming in and sitting here at our show. We had okay. a great time. Hey, uh, a little friend, one on one. Okay, okay. I'm gonna tell you this a thing. A friend last uh, week told us you won the lottery. Who's saying that? How much did you win? Uh fifty thousand. Fifty grand. What'd you spend it on? What? Where are you guys going? What'd you spend it on? Fifty grand. A you, friend said yeah. last week that you had won the lottery. What'd you spend it on? MySpace.com slash Schizo Bill. S K I T Z O B I L L. You can buy my t shirts. I had about 250 friends on the website. But then I wound up getting almost 13,000. A great place to meet people, too. It is a great place to meet people. Yeah, you put your picture up there. It's great. You look like Brian Dennehy. Why did everyone leave the studio? Your friend called last week and said you won the lottery. How much did you win? You do stand up from Chicago? That's amazing. Uh, what's it like being a schizophrenic comic? What's your opening uh, line? How do you get the people? What? what? I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle. I'm a fucking kook. So My a space. friend that called last week so and Bill. said you won the lottery? Yeah. How much did you win? Um, 50000 I'm not you sure if I won on? the lottery anymore. Bill, take your clothes off, Bill. Uh, Bill, take your clothes off. No. God damn it, Bill, take your clothes off. <laughs> no. You look like Brian Dennehy. <laughs> Brian Dennehy. Don't take your headphones off, Bill. Bill. So I heard you were hit by a car? Yeah, I was hit by a car. Wow. How'd that happen? Um. Let me see. Turn around. Jeez. Ed Asner neck. <laughs> wow, you, got, you must have a hairy back. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. That is some scar. Yeah. What'd you get hit with, a Chevy lobotomy? <laughs> yeah, that's a good joke. Can I use that joke? Who's that? Camera guy, who's that over there? There's no one here. The show's over. The show's over? The show's over. Bill, don't Should leave. leave. Stay. They're telling me to stay. Stay, Bill. Don't leave. I I don't know what's uh, going on. I'm I apparently I've taken over the Opie and Anthony Studios. Bill, Bill, um, take your clothes off, Bill. I don't know what's going God on. God damn it, Bill! Take your clothes off. Bill, don't leave. MySpace.com slash kids. Bill, holy shit, Bill. What? Take your clothes off. No. God damn it, Bill. Stop fucking with me. Take your clothes off. Who are you? This is Jesus Christ, Bill. I'm an atheist. I'm the son of God, Bill. Take off your fucking clothes. I don't care. Everyone is gone.
You're the only one left. You are the chosen one. I have selected you. To do what? To take your clothes off. Why would that do anything? This will cleanse your soul, Bill. You must cleanse your soul. Take your clothes off. My, my soul's messed up already. Bill, listen to me. You must cleanse your soul. Take well, your clothes off. Why? It's for the good of all mankind, Bill. You are the chosen one. I have to get going. Bill, don't take the headphones off. Don't leave, Bill. I need some water. Send in a water boy. I got to take some more pills. I will send in a water boy. Wait one second. Bill, but if you I give you water, you must take your clothes off. No. Then you get no water. Someone had to leave water here. Oh. Uh, I don't know. This is weird. I don't know what's going on. Bill, you're on in five, four, three, two, one. Hi, my name's Bill, and I'm schizophrenic. This comedy set is dedicated to all the deaf schizophrenics that can't hear their voices, and to all the schizophrenics that thought they were Jesus. They all drowned. When I was in the mental hospital, I did therapy. I did art therapy, music therapy, and writing therapy. In writing therapy, I learned to write poetry. I write poetry to the woman I stalk. I write things like, love is a strange emotion, yet I understand it when I'm with you. I seriously considered suicide till I met you, and my love for you is stronger than any restraining order. Holy crap, the bee guy's here again. Thank him, Bill. Thank you. The bee guy gave me water. I swear to God, there's a bee guy. Keep talking, Bill. You're on air. Um, I'm talking. Um, this is very strange start for over, me. Start over, Bill. I'm, start over what? From the top, Bill. Five, four, three, two, one. Hi, my name is Bill, and I'm schizophrenic. I'm also in law school. I got into law school through a special program that considers adversity you face in your academic career. The adversity I faced is I'm schizophrenic. And I got hit by a hit-and-run driver and had brain surgery. I was very well qualified. I had a 3.82 grade point average in grad school, but I didn't get in the first time I applied. I guess some autistic guy with a lobotomy and a 4.0 must have beat me out. Bill, we yeah. have 10 seconds till we come out of commercials, all right? We're going to need you to go right into your act when we come back. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Wait, I keep I, I, I keep starting up. In Five, a, what? four, three, two, one. Hi. My name is Bill, and I'm schizophrenic. This comedy set is dedicated to all the deaf schizophrenics that can't hear their voices, and to all the schizophrenics that thought they were Jesus. They all drown. Do you still need me to go on? Bill, we had a technical glitch. What I need you to do is start over from the top again. Oh, my God. You, the show is probably five, over. What four, time is it? Three, you guys two, are messing with me. One. Uh, I I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm in the opening of Anthony Studios, and I got voices talking to me, and there's a beekeeper coming in to talk to me, and he gave me water, I think. And uh, uh, Bill, what are you what are you doing? We want you to talk about the Grammy you won last night. It was best R and B male performance. You remember this, don't you? I can't sing. In five, I, four, I can't sing. I did three, sing. I did make up a two, song. One, chicks dig me because I'm insane. Chicks dig me because I got a no. small brain. Jesus Christ, Bill! You got to talk about the award you won last night. You won a Grammy. Um, I'd like to thank the imaginary people that voted for my Grammy. What's your name, beekeeper? There's a beekeeper here. Bill, listen, we're coming out of commercials in about 10 seconds. I'm going to need you to go right into your act, all right? In five, 
four, three, two, one. Uh, hi, my name's Bill, and I'm schizophrenic. And I, I, I don't know what's going on here. Um, there's a beekeeper tearing things apart. Bill, your act, your stand-up act. All right, start over again from the top, all right? I got to rewind the tape real quick, but just, just hold on a sec. All right, Bill, you ready? Yeah. Is the beekeeper still there? Yes. Fuck the beekeeper. Do your goddamn act, all right? Yes. Five, four, three, two, one. Hi, my name's Bill, and I'm schizophrenic. And uh, I just want to apologize to all those mentally ill people I offended. Wait, 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 wait what happened, dude? You stopped. I, I, I'm going. I'm going. I want to apologize to dude, all the uh, mentally stop, ill stop, people stop, stop. I've defended. Hey, 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 listen, Bill. I got to rewind the tape again. I got to start over again from the top, all right? Yeah. All right. Don't stop. Don't stop. Keep on going. All right? Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Hi, my name's Bill, and I'm schizophrenic. I've got some jokes about my toenails, but they're kind of long. That's not the joke. I like my jokes like sex, short, in and out, with lots of laughter. The doctor needs you. And I always kill. Did you like that joke, beekeeper? Bill, what the fuck are you doing? There's nobody in the room with you. Now you just fucked up the entire goddamn recording. Now I gotta start over again. My in five, four, three, two, one. I I I need help. Beekeeper, can you raise that thing? Holy shit, Bill! Are we gonna do this all fucking day or what? I I don't know. I, I five, don't know what's going on. Four, three, two. One. Hi, my name is Bill, and I'm schizophrenic. This comedy set is dedicated to all the deaf schizophrenics that can't hear their voices, and to all the schizophrenics that thought they were Jesus. They all drowned. When I was in the mental hospital, I did therapy. I did art therapy, music therapy, and writing therapy. In writing therapy, I learned to write poetry. I write poetry to the woman I stalk. I write things like, love is a strange emotion, yet I understand it when I'm with you. I seriously consider suicide until I met you, and my love for you is stronger than any restraining order. I had a girlfriend in the mental hospital. We never really broke up. Bill. We just each underwent. Yes. Do you have a MySpace account? Yes, myspace.com slash schizobill. Yes, I've got it in there. And where are you appearing this weekend? I'm at Wilbert's on Tuesday. All right, make sure you say that when we come back. All right, make sure you say that when we come back out of break, okay? We You've been on break? Yes, Bill. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. My MySpace.com account is MySpace.com slash SchizoBill. And I'm gonna be at, it, I'm gonna be at Wilbert's on Tuesday in downtown. Bill, Cleveland. do some of your act first and then do your MySpace. I I I did my act. I did some of my act. Bill, what's your MySpace? MySpace.com slash SchizoBill. S K I T Z O B I L L. <laughs>